One of these days. Yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. I won't get flipped off by Koiba at the moment. You know? I thought I thought you were gonna be like, one of these days I'll just show the cams during the fucking going live like warm up. Because <laughs> that is something that the people yeah, yeah. do not need to see. <laughs> just mm. us being fucking stupid for like <laughs> me hitting the gritty and putting USB cables in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Hey guys. Small, hey guys, small, small club. Today. I'm that Dutch geek, and uh, I'm the dungeon master and host of the Dungeon Select. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, a bit rude, to be honest. Kind of right. funny though. It's a little funny, you know. Anything. But... Whatever. Um, <clears throat> small club today, but given last week's um, circumstances. Uh... To be fair, it's only the people that mm -hmm. matter. What the fuck are you here? Oh. Um, comic relief. Uh. Yeah. All right. Before we, uh, yeah, so Laura isn't here because, uh, well, you haven't watched last episode. Uh, and basically, Laura was like, new character, and then I'm going to be gone for three weeks due to work related stuff. So we were like, oh, it might be better for you to just take an extra week off and then give you ample time to think about what you want to do. This is us kicking Laura off the show. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what this is. On the anniversary when she finally, back, finally got the chance to kill her. She literally should come back on the anniversary when you're like, ooh, actually. She's also like <laughs> ran ran like five different character ideas by me so far. So you know, he rejected so them you all. have no idea what's coming. So, well, I'm basically, you know, we're going to have to sit down and be like, okay, what is the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fitting? No, I know. I'm just saying like, you but, uh, literally have like just no idea though right now. Well, no, neither has she because she keeps bringing oh, new new characters to the, to the, into the mix. Um... Yeah, I mean, as in shit, like dude. these are all of my ideas. Pick one, or is she like, oh, I'll, I'll be this. Wait, no, I'll be this. Wait, no, um, I'll be this. Bit, bit of both. Bit of both. Yeah. So, uh, as far as announcements go, we won't be here next week because I'll be at a festival all weekend, and I can't really DM from there. So there's that. Why not? Um, <laughs> well, it's not that. It's the internet that's the issue. Really. Oh, <laughs> so if you had the internet, you'd be living. Oh, yeah, Let's 100%, go. 100%, 100%. <laughs> Live at the fucking Q Dance, the heart style stage, just fucking uh, yeah. raw, raw initiative. Bro, that's fire. That's fire. Like, you're like, guys, you're me? Crazy. Guys. <laughs> go every year, bro. I fucking swing through. Since when? Year. Uh, the past, like, four years. Mystery land. Right, well, fuck, I'm <laughs> putting in my calendar for next year, then, Bad I guess. Friend, fuck me. Uh, we can't long on the fucking campsite, bro. Fucking just hanging out, drinking beers, and going to way too loud. Beers and kissing players. Stages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as far as yeah, so that's announcements. Um, other than that, uh, I don't really have much to say. Really, besides uh, last week was a mess. Um, you guys want anything? You guys want to want to? Wasn't a mess. Great. No, like it was a mess, but more of like a in a Jackson Pollock kind of way. Sure. Me after <laughs> like three curries. He doesn't know who that is, Jet. Heard the name, uh, gun to my head, explained to me who Jackson Pollock artist. is. I would probably get. No, he's, he's an artist that all of his an paintings artist. are just like, fuck, oh, I'm, I just sort of shoved Bro, paint on my ass and had diarrhea yeah. and sprayed it all over the canvas. Jackson's Pollock. The definition so, like, of it's still art. the wall and see what sticks. But I think he did the thing where, like, was, he did the you have a like... paint bucket with a rope. And then you yeah. put a hole in the paint bucket, oh, and like. Oh right, 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 right. That, yeah. that, that, that do ring a bell. Um, but yeah. You guys have anything to announce? Anything you want to say? I'm losing all my free time starting tomorrow. Fog. Just sad. Why? School. Oh, back to life. Oh, no. summer's over. No, summer oh, over. Pookie. Pookie. Big sad. Although Georgia summer doesn't really end till like October, so. No, yeah, but like. Well, the weather, yeah, but. No. Yeah. Yeah. School summer over. Summer um, over. I have next Monday off though for Labor Day. Pog. Pog. Labor Day. No. Yep. All right. <clears throat> well, if that's everything. Fuck all to announce. Um, <laughs> where's, Laura, where's Laura's announcements? Hold well, like, Laura's announcements time. are usually oh, call the Nether Deep, but. but she's yeah, that's because like she's doing so, a yeah. film festival, or whatever. All uh, right. I'm going to be grinding Overwatch because the new season came out. It's on stream, I'm yeah. I'm going to be doing fuck all. Uh, so, yeah. You know. New new Wild expansion is out. And that's what I've been been doing. 
Uh, eggs. You good? Well, it's yeah. I, I'm just waiting, like, because I'm still in early access. Uh, uh, the actual expansion is out tomorrow at midnight. And that's been also like a lot of like I've hit max level. I've I'm basically just in waiting mode for like okay, I'm waiting for the end game content to unlock tomorrow, kind of. Um, is it good? Yeah. Like, just pog. It's just ready to ready to fucking get cracking. Okay, I just rolled the d twenty just to get a feel for the vibe. Yeah. It was a nat one right away, so. Okay, I'll try it too. I'll try it too. Hang on. I rolled a three. I also rolled a three. Oh, <laughs> oh, Let's see what I roll. <laughs> I rolled a nat one as well. Oh. Hey. Oh right. Fuck to a This is okay. the day where we get in a combat encounter and all of us can't hit the other pure person. Yeah, we're just there, like. <laughs> so without any further ado, yeah, we still just damage. Last, it's further uh, ado. Yeah. Didn't ask. It's kind of crazy. Maybe you should have. Um, then you would have said it right. Maybe you should have. Last we left off, the party ventured through the woods <laughs> to try and reach the first of three camps to find pieces of the key to Brixalt's lair. The day started off well, meeting a nice hobgoblin who gave you a potion, an interaction with a sneaky pixie that had eaten some of Elasrin's rations, and even an encounter with a coven of hags that couldn't keep you down. Then you reached the camp, and with the help of the Spriggans guiding away a chunk of the Cobalt forces, you got blindsided when taking on a fight with the remainder of the camp, as Brixoth showed up trying to take Elazarin away from you all. When Davian defied Brixoth by transporting Elazarin to the Plane of Fire, to the City of Brass, um, it hurt his pride, his ego. Um, he took it personal, turned back around, continuing the fight. With Jax banished, Brooks and Kess away, and Elasian unconscious on the ground of the City of Brass, Brixot and his forces took down Daigon, killing her, and then took Davian away. Elasian woke up to see Kasuth, who immediately opened up a portal back to where they came from. Now Elasian, Jax, stand in the woods, the mission still at hand, finding Brixot's lair, killing him, taking revenge for Daigon, finding Davian. Kasuth opened a portal, and through this portal, another individual steps. What do they see? Oh, fuck! <laughs> I forgot. Um, through the portal steps a an Efriti! Uh, a sort of enshrouded in flame with a sort of flaming scimitar at his hip. Um, he steps forward from the portal. You've seen him before. Fought alongside him before. Uh, as it's Davian's planar ally. Um, Cinder. So, yeah, he just sort of silently strides forward. His intentions seem clear. He's clearly determined. Filled with determination. As uh, Undertale would put it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Cinder steps through and Kosuth looks at all three of you. I know it will be difficult, but you know what has to be done. And then he looks at Cinder quite intensely. You have your instruction. Bring him back. And with that, he turns around and steps through the portal. Portal. So now it is you. You three. We three. Two of you particularly beat up. Just lost one, possibly two of your comrades. You now stand at the front gate of this now empty camp. The corpse, and with it the big, larger-than-life axe that the half-dragon was building, lies close by. What would you like to do? Uh, how hurt is Jax looking? Not too bad, actually. Okay, then I will just, like... Okay. I'll use three... Uh, charges of the spell storing. And just heal myself up 
Um, Elsa ring. What the ring? Did I don't have that ring anymore that you gave me? Well, no. You you have two. Di so you have the spell sword ring, which restores all oh. three spell slot. No, and you have so I meant the little spider. I'm in the spider. Does the charges? Sorry, Sorry I'm in the spider. Uh, cure wounds. Cure wounds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Level one. They're, they're, they're at level two too. So. Oh, is it? See, see, I fucking I knew what I was talking about. I knew what I meant. <laughs> the fucking what, whatever the fucking thing means, I can cast cure wounds. All right, yeah, like a million yeah, times. Free. Yeah. I mean, I. I'm using fucking three charge of that, so I need to throw another three multi gate because I enrolled it at level one. Cool. Kill like. Does it use, is it your modifier I use? As well as mine? Yeah, plus yeah. five. So. Yeah. Oh, I think it's the same modifier, so it's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 10. Check that, but I'm. Oh, 10, 15. Hey, you use my modifier. Help myself up for like, heal myself up for like 40 health. It's like 38. 38. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Basically puts me at full. So I'm a lot happier. Uh, and then I will. Um, so heal myself. Do you see like, look a little bit healthier? Still look head down. And I'll trudge towards the. Uh, that. Heart that looked like it was the leader's heart, and I'm just gonna look for the key or the piece of the key. Okay. I just I'll slowly trudge. Are you like without saying anything? You just yeah, just slowly, just like head head okay. down, just trudge. What are you doing, Jax? Um, I'm gonna just kind of kneel next to the Dagon's uh robo body and her stuff and just sit there and cry for a little bit, I guess. Uh, what about what about Cinder? Um, I will just take stock of the surroundings, I guess. Take a little look around the camp. A little bit of damage assessment, I guess. I mean, other than the dragon fucked off in a direction, you know, is there anything <clears throat> anything immediate that might be? I don't know of of use anything that might provide any information. Does the lead, the the uh, half dragon leader have anything on him like instructions, plans, that sort of thing? Um, make an investigation check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, as you kind of take stock of your surroundings, you go and check the half dragon's corpse, and I mean, you've, the axe is there, the enchanted yeah. axe uh, that is now reverted back to just a normal great axe uh, size. Um, but you could take if you so desired. Um, other than that, on his person, um, nineteen, you said, right? Yeah. You find hanging around his neck a necklace. Okay. And this necklace has five jewels hanging from it. Mm hmm. And they're all very small, but uh, they're all about. They're all very smooth, about the size of a coin. Um, but very thin, but, but, but kind of like wide and round as a coin. Uh, yeah, they're like um, like discs, discs, medallions, yeah. whatever. Yeah, and one is a blue sapphire, one is a green emerald, one is a red ruby, one is a white diamond, and one is a this this blackened uh, obsidian. And you can see that uh, the blue one is cracked. Ah. Okay, so this has some some significance to the chromatic dragons. It, it would appear so. Obviously, Cinder is very much up to speed on this whole quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It be, you know, Davian, he was there when you guys killed mm -hmm. uh, the first dragon. Um, and Kosuth will have given him all the, you know, the, the, the whole spiel of, of what Davian's mission is and what he's up to and all that stuff. So Cinder is very much in the know of 
anything that Kosuth knows about. Does it seem about. magical? Make an Arcana check. Natural 20. Oh my god. Um, no. But... You see... On the flip sides... Of these discs... Mm. There are some carvings. Of? Um, the red... Um, disc as is car like they're all heads or faces yeah. rather the humanoid red, faces humanoid uh, oh the red one has this 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 feral looking tiefling uh like two twisted horns um jagged teeth it's just outlined right but that's like mm -hmm. very like feral tiefling like <clears throat> the White one is this this bald humanoid head. The blue one was this is this slim looking elven face. Uh, the black one is this kind of stub nosed dwarf. And the green one is this of a more um, socially accepted looking. Less feral. Still very much civilized. Bones, civilized. More civilized tiefling. What what the significance is of that, you're not too sure, but... And the, so, okay. It's not magical. No. So the, the blue one was cracked manually, I assume. It would appear so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wasn't like, oh, the dragon died, and it broke no, because no. something. Okay, uh, and that's the only thing of interest on on this. Uh, this the half dragon was the necklace uh, and the axe that I could find. Yeah, okay. Is the axe magical? Yes. You yeah. I mean, it's in the yeah, MC, it. but U.S. players saw the. Uh, axe oh yeah, the yeah. But he also, was also he could, he, he could have cast a thing. You know, he could have yeah. used the thing. Um. So if you. Want to add that to your inventory? Uh, add the and now you can because we fixed that issue with the homebrew. Yep. The oh, giant yeah. craft ambusher. Giant craft ambusher. Bam. Remember you saying that last week? That's what it was called. But fuck, it's still such a cool name, dude. Want to like read it out to the to the class? There's a lot to read. Oh. Story time. Story time. This. Wait, I am on the right thing, yeah. This dark metal axe contains the brute force of a fire giant inside and requires a strength of 15 or higher uh, to wield it. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. While holding this weapon, you can speak its command word using a bonus action to magically enlarge it. When you do, the weapon grows to three times its normal size until the start of your next turn. <laughs> Reminds me of something. While enlarged, this axe has the reach property and deals an extra 2d12 slashing damage to any target it hits. The axe's weight doesn't change. While the axe is enlarged, it doesn't impose disadvantage on your attack rolls due to its larger size. Once this property of the axe has been used, it can't be used again until the next dawn. Some say giants are descendants of the dragons. Some say giants are dragons who committed great transgressions against their own kind, now cursed and punished to roam the lands. Over the generations, the giants have become a master at creating new weapons, plotting to take their wings back by force. I don't know who that, that quote is. so but... much harder to follow along with what you're saying. Oh yeah, it's just flavor <laughs> text anyway. <clears throat> Some say... Wait. Some say wait. Some Isn't that literally... Wait. Hold on. Isn't that literally Elden Ring lore? Yes and no. That the giants were dragons? Uh, it's no, it's not the dragons. Uh, I mixed a couple of things into one. It's the lore. I mixed right, a couple right, of right. things. I mixed a couple of things. <clears throat> well, there you have it. So you re it requires a strength of f 15, 15, so I can't use it. I can't use it. Well, my, strength is, use it. my strength is still four, so you know. Oh. I can barely use it with my strength reduced. 
So, you know, I, I'm still like... His head up. <laughs> I get that. Why do you think, why do you think Elijah has sunken down and looking down this whole time? It's just because he can't fucking hold up his, like, crown he's got on. Like, it was just... Yeah, this whole time, like, I'll have the, like, long restrooms I need, and I'll be like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, nothing really happened. It was all dream. Yeah, 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 it's just, yeah, yeah, we all wake up, we're all alive, everything's fine. Yeah, can I dive find? Yeah, so you go to investigate the... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, make an investigation check. I need to fucking turn on the light, I can't see shit. That did fucking not help. Investigation. It's not a very high number. Oh, it's a nice pass for me. Eleven. Um, you look around, and the tent the tent is very bare bones. There's this makeshift bed. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, you also see, um, on the ground there is this 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 trap door. And as you kind of like look around the bed, you can see that inside the pillowcase. It's the loop part of a he made of green dragon skins. I will pick up, put it in my bag, uh, and then I will go over to where Jax is. I will also I'll put a, a resting hand on his shoulder and so like looking at the body, whilst also still like fucking sobbing my eyes out as well, <laughs> like I'm crying. Um, and I will be whispering like a prayer, um, passing, uh, safe travels to wherever, knowing what has happened to Daigon and her soul, wherever it may have gone or what may have happened to it, hoping that it has a good passing. Um, and we'll just sit there for a, probably a minute or two and then tap Jax and the, like I'll stand back up. And just will say to Jax, we got work to do. We will get our revenge. There's a trap door over here. I don't feel comfortable opening it up by myself. Could use a pair of hands. Sorry, that's just funny because I'm not going to be able to tell that better. But... Oh, so am I. Um... I just don't be alone. I just don't know what to do myself. That's kind of I'll slowly kind of <laughs> gather Daigon's stuff up. Mm -hmm. um, and grab the metal body and tuck it over my shoulder and sort of walk towards the tent, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and now I'm... Can I see if this trap door is, like, is trapped? <laughs> Can I see if there's any traps? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, this is 16. As far as you can tell, uh, this is not trapped. Uh, but you do notice that it doesn't also... It also doesn't seem to have a handle or a lock. Uh, out of pure frustration and, like, it's, like, not gonna do anything because my current unarmed strike will do zero damage at a negative three. Mm. But I would just punch it as hard as I can. Like you just like you you punch and, and it does nothing. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so bad. My hand, I come up my hands like that, and I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm like, why can't Sing. it just be simple? Oh, oh, oh. Seeing what a Lazarus did, I'll try punching it with my gauntlet. Put the body down. Get that to something. Okay. Uh, yeah. Attack roll. You you'll succeed. So just roll roll damage. Uh, thirteen points of thunder damage. As you go and punch it, you just notice that that nothing happens. In fact, um. You feel a rumble. Oh. And... Make a perception check. Now this rumble, with my Trevor sense, do I get a little... Do I sense that something's coming? 
Not in that way. Oh, okay. 18. 18. You kind of begin to follow where the rumble comes from, and it kind of leads away from the trap door to this patch of ground still in the tent, but like kind of beside it. And this the ground kind of opens up, splits open, and emerging from it is this small green tinged um, I don't know how to describe this cylindrical container how small can like we're talking can we're talking like like play-doh part like what are we talking <laughs> why does this man have an assortment of cylindrical containers to look at his microphone even <laughs> orb, or, uh... where's the orb. cigar case the dude, like, like, yeah, cigar case, like, like, the, a, like a single cigar case, sort like of a thing? single cigar, oh, like okay. tube, yeah, something oh, okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A single cigar tube, just the ground opened up and a single cigar tube came out. Well, not like, literally a cigar tube, but it's cylindrical. Right, yeah. and the cigar green. Pops out. Obviously, yeah. we start smoking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> I love Cubans. I'll pick it up. To make it look not real. As you. Pick it up. You, your vision kind of fades. Make a make an intelligence saving throw. Oh my god, that's him making it, not me. Jeans, fuck. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. <clears throat> okay, you pass. Uh, this hey. this sense of. Discomfort kind of assaults you, but you very quickly manage to kind of brush it off. And you look around, and you're still in the tent, but your allies are not with you. And you can see, you can hear outside the tent, kobolds walking around. And you look at yourself, and you suddenly realize that you're kind of this trans like translucent shape look at yourself Self. and you see suddenly coming into the tent this half dragon that has now been slain kneeling in front of this this trap door what language do you speak Draconic. uh common under common and vidalcom Okay. He says three words in a language you do not know. And your vision comes back to you. And right as your vision fades away from, from where you are now, you can see that as he said those three words, the latch opens up. You don't see what's beyond it, but you see the latch open up. The hatch. Latch, latch, that door. Did Cinder come and you, in with us? And you suddenly, you're, you're back, Lazarin, and uh, I'm guessing also Cinder. In yeah. The tent. I think I can repeat. There's three words in some language. I, I don't know what it is. Get the hatch open. Yeah. No. Okay. Try my best to replicate them. Yeah, I mean the three words. Um, anyone here speak Draconic? The other two? No. no. None of you understand what's being said. But <sighs> Jax, you Let's... mutter these three words, and the trap door opens up, and you suddenly look at this tube that you have, or that you think you have. It's gone. And you look down into the ground, and you all saw this, down into the ground. There's no point in the ground where this thing ever emerged from. Like, has not, that never happened. If you would have to believe the space you're in. What? 
I'm too tired for this. I like look at Jack's like look at the ground. I'm like fucking whatever. Fuck it. at this point. What do we see under where the like latch opened? Um the the trap door opens up and you can see this rippling almost water like surface which you recognize the portal. Good thing it's the camp. Before we step through, uh, one of you perhaps better take a look at this, and I will hand over the necklace with these Do visages. Those visages ring any bells, like especially to like um, the. The Frontier is Brooks's clone, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. That's like his brother or whatever. But do they? Uh, any other figures were they present on the fucking like mural we saw on that like uh that shit the fucking future in the uh fucking... the grim bars yeah fucking... did yeah. any of the, are there any of those figures there like with the other dragons like with the ones that represent like do they look like what the champions of those dragons probably are um well one of them looks like brooks's yeah yeah clone um <clears throat> the other four faces i mean they are just kind of like outlines of faces so it's very yeah. hard to pin that to uh Anything. people you've met or people you've seen um make a hmm I'm trying to see like how much lazarin would know of dragons and you know what i mean uh, I mean, as much as like, probably not a loads. I'll be honest. Yeah, just, like... make a, just, just make a base like intelligence check to see how much is base knowledge. Oh, I mean, like on the subject. Fuck, very base intelligence. Uh, yeah. What am I looking? Wow, well, ten. I have the exact average intelligence no knowledge yeah, no, of dragons. That's, that's not gonna. You're, dragons, you're not, man. You're not, you're not sure. You don't really know why there's these. Yeah, the, you know, like you said, they could be. Champions, champions could be... they could be geysers, they could be, yeah, you know, it's, you know, there's it is. There are too many possibilities to, to for me exactly. to be like, oh, this is definitely this. It's 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 very much a, yeah, fucking exactly. thing. I saw look at them and be like, could be anything really. Um, could be the champions, could be what they disguise into. Things have that ability, could be, it could just be random old coins that they've found, and these were the leaders they were taken so who knows interesting they chipped the blue one by themselves there well one dragon is dead well something out of curiosity mm -hmm. dutch what color was the half dragon uh the half dragon was uh green The kobolds in this kind no. of also had this like green brownish uh, tint in yeah. their skin. Maybe worth keeping just to see what happens with it. Might might be a key to something. I don't know. Forgive me yeah, for yeah, saying so, but Elazarin, you look horrible. Oh, yes. I I Should think we... I I think I, I, I wonder why. It's not like we just saw a friend murdered and sent got sent to another plane, and you know. I also think I may have died. I've had that sort of feeling before. Forgive me. I just mean physically. Are you sure you want to continue before we maybe give you a moment to rest and recuperate? I know vengeance yeah. is important, but you, you, you aren't avenging anybody in this shape. Where do we rest? Can't rest here. Can we want this cobalt to come back? Um, one, one, bricks off comes back. I doubt he will, but he might. Can't rest here. A short one, maybe. But we can't sleep here. Anyway, still, like, what? Looks up at the sky, like, <laughs> have any chance of knowing what time of day it is at all. Twilight, the twilight and I'm like, it's still <laughs> that time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, only twilight o'clock. Where all of Jackson's inventions doesn't have a watch. 
like that. Like, hey, man, he, you, he you never fucking got... clockwork, you know? Yeah, yeah, he, he never got, like, cogs he, and, like, screws. Clock's he's not like, really my thing, yeah. He's like, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. How does it work? If Jax, Fuck. If Jax ever picks the key mind feet, that's just, he's, like, he makes himself a watch for the built-in compass. It's like, that's his <laughs> key mind feet. Bro, actually, that would have been kind of sick to grab, actually. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Um, I just, we could, I don't know, when we could rest here. Uh, I mean, I can get some benefit, I suppose, but not very much. <clears throat> I, could, I could do with sleeping, but also, time is off of the essence. And I'll solve. I still just put my hand to the gem that I got given. Um, I'm fresh just to make as sure it's still burning. A spring chicken. If you need to lie down and close your eyes, I will sit, wait, watch. If anything happens, then of course I will wake you and we will we'll figure it out. But whatever might appear here in the next what eight hours can't be any worse or better than what's on the other side of the portal so either way we're fucked that's all right and as he says at that the door of the hut uh cinder will fate like stand facing out into the camp and just sit down crisscross applesauce with his scimitar across his lap and just stare out into the camp i will um just have this like sudden i can and i will look at the uh circlet of non-detection and just see how many gems are gone <laughs> And I'll be like, yep. Thought so. Thought so. Hi. Why would I mean, I... I mean, Bricksoth pulled up. Like. Yeah. I was, there was a, there was I, I a think small, that goes saying. there was a tiny part hope of me that it was that he, like, we know they hunt their prey, that he just found us. There was a small glimmer. There was a small, like, maybe? No, no fucking course. <clears throat> Those aren't mutually exclusive, you know? True, true. <laughs> it can, be, can use one to help the other, I suppose. Um, I would like to use my scrying eye. Okay. And I want to scry on Davian. Okay. Oh. Interesting. We get like a billion pluses to that. Or... <laughs> yeah. Let me, Wait. Let me quickly whip out the scrying spell. We know that guy. Did, okay. Is Onu oh. in the plane of fire? Did Onu just bamf out of existence? Um, Is Onu with Davian? I wanted to say that, um, and I, I should have brought this up. Um, Onu kind of instinctively on his own flew off to give chase to Brixoth. Onu is searching well because he broke the quartz the fire quartz so right then owner would have been brought back and owner will be there with, with the gang well owner's here well, well, owner's here no. well owner could have come back saw having being taken and then fucking gone chase no we'll say because because i, I forgot that owner was the vessel in which broke the yeah. fucking quartz so we'll say that owner in bird form is uh, is present with you guys when we we're can act now, I'm pretty sure my ranger level is high enough that he is like independent. So oh, that's really? kind of fun. Oh, let sure. me let me double check. There is like he can at least take more. No, when when Davian's incapacitated, I'm pretty sure he's just good to go. I mean, oh. are we giving Onu scritches then? Like next to me, very like. So, uh, I know we never, bird. I know we never got on before, bird, but now is not the time. Um, um, I mean, the, given stat like, law. Davian, if, if the target knows you are casting a spell, it can fail the save throw voluntarily. Davian would have no idea that the spell is being cast, yeah, so no, you would still have to no. do rolling. Um, but you should have like a hundred billion pluses. Are familiar with the target, which yeah. makes this the, the modifier. If, 
uh, to the save of minus five. Could we, could we use like Onu as part of the like something that Stationer is garment? Yeah, body part, lock of hair, a bit of nail, or the like. So something. I'll say that Onu. Like, it's as like an ex extension of Davin. Onu is, yeah, they are primarily so, okay. linked or whatever. Yep. Um, then, Duke, as Davin, so minus 15 to the save. can you make a wisdom saving throw and the modifier is minus 10? So I make a saving throw with my... Wisdom. With your wisdom, but then minus 10 on the... Uh, what Wouldn't it be minus 15? Because don't they add? Crazy? Do they? No, I think... I oh yeah, so. no, there's a knowledge save and there's a connection save. So yeah, minus 15, then in that case. Okay, so wisdom saving throw with a plus three. So we're on that 20, we're fine. Well, it's a 21, and you said minus 15. 15. So you said six. Save. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, Jax, uh, much like how your circlet of normal detection and uh, Elasrin's circlet are at zero charges left, so is Davian's. They've been watching you, yeah. or attempted to watch you for a little while now. Uh, which in your case means that that's good. You begin crying, and you can see this underground chamber. This this large, not naturally formed cavern, which adds up because you do know that green dragons burrow into the ground and make their layers that way. So this this chamber that you see very much made by Brixoth. This is his lair. You can see in the corner, in this small cage, lies Davian. Unconscious at this time. You don't know whether he's just asleep, or, or if he's knocked out, or there's some kind of poison or other potion at work to keep him under, but he is currently Incapacitated. Unconscious. Um, you look around the room, and you see... Three individuals. Well, two dragons and one individual, should I say. You this see... is like a big cavern. Yeah, no, this is massive. Okay. You see Brixoth. You see a white dragon. And you see this cloaked individual wearing this <clears throat> intricate spider web and sword uh, embedded Vomit. garments wearing a mask much like Davian has, but of a gold dragon. And she speaks to the two dragons. We have much to discuss. Sadly, it would appear that there are only two of you here. What happened? Um, <clears throat> give me a sec. Recognize her voice at all? Make a, make a history check. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Okay. You got a huge oh, brain, man. Check if I can use this to actually. Got a, got a, oh, what? Your hammer brilliance or whatever? Flash of Jillian. Flash of Jillian. Flash of Jillian. Flash of Jillian. Flash of Jizzing. Um, I flash okay. Of okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, I may as well bump this into it, so I'll use my Flash of Genius. Mm -hmm. Give me a plus five, so I can use it on ability checks. So, total, that is a plus 14 to my 14, so 28. It sounds familiar, but you can tell that there's some kind of magic at work to purposely distort it. But even still, there is some familiarity, but you cannot quite place it. You then see the white dragon, uh, Pillcutter, speak up. Nezog got... Well, you know how she is. To which Brixoth then uh, speaks up. 
she couldn't make it. But we'll make sure to pass along any information she needs. I understand that I didn't capture the one you wanted. They made it personal. To which the individual in the golden mask... What is this? Working with the likes of you, everything seems to become personal. Starting to think this collaboration was a mistake. You can see Brixoff kind of getting to um, widen his stance. And it's like poisonous kind of vapor kind of escapes from the corners of his mouth. To which the lady in the golden mask... You know what happens? Were you to act on your instinct? And he immediately backs down. He's well, how long does Fry last? Like, like 10 minutes. minutes. Okay. So I get a good bit of conversation. They go, if they don't notice, because if they've got, if they look up and, because if they yeah, got any sort of true they sight see, too. They could oh, see the, fuck. they could see the scrying orb and they can fucking mm -hmm. know. Look at this old guy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> happy look at this guy. old guy. <laughs> He's still happy. Um, He's just a little guy, man. You see them then, uh, you see her then, well, so what do we plan to do with that one? She kind of nods at Dabby in the cage. Give him money and let him live in the lap of luxury? Mm, Brixoth says... Give him lots of kisses. Keep him alive. Yes. Until his friends arrive. Kill them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which you know, Pil shoot for the Pil stars, land on the moon, whatever. Pilcutter then then looks at Brixoff. You sure that's a good idea? Could just kill him now. One less champion to worry about. Which Brixoff then kind of snaps his jaw at Pilcutter. I know what I'm doing. To which this 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 gold masked individual Well whatever it is you do, you better hope you don't fail. Because if they fail to kill you, you know who will. She then approaches Davian and kind of kneels down and looks at the cage and then looks up and then looks you directly in the eyes, Jax. I recognize those eyes? Well, she's wearing the mask. Yeah, I can see her eyes through the mask, no? <laughs> I'm not giving you that. <laughs> Motherfucker, come on! No. Motherfuckers, come on! Motherfuckers, come on! And she just says to you, well, well, well. How long have you been here, I wonder? No matter. Things will fall into place soon. You still have a role to fulfill. Chosen one. She then kind of like waves her hand and snaps her finger and the scry just. Oh, I this hate is what you saw. so much. Even if the Empress would be in League. He's dead, dude. It's crazy. It's yeah, so that, crazy. That is, that is the only Golden Dragon. So, I mean, there's only one, right? Yeah, that's true. That's how, that's how gold dragons work. There's always only, only, only one. Ever oh, that's brilliant. what we were told. Is that gold she mask. <laughs> Golden mask. Um, so, Gideon Andy. The all-knowing. <laughs> The loathsome dung eater Andy. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what you saw with Jackson. 
Um, that's rude. No, that. Uh, cast exposition. Thank you. Hmm? And I um, just start to laugh a little bit when you mention the they like when Brick sort of, especially the moment like where Brick sort of backs down. He's like a last sort of chuckle to himself. So it's not possible the Empress could be working with them. I mean, at this point, anything's possible, but I doubt it. Still something to keep aware of, I suppose. Just another thing for us to be suspicious of. You know, Lazarin, I really miss the days when gods didn't exist and dragons were fictional and life was better. I just remember when our biggest problem was Kess being, like, kind of crazy. Oh, Brooks trying to blow himself up? Oh, those are the days. This, <laughs> when the worst thing that would happen is we went underwater. Then we went to the hells and it's all been down. I'll be honest, since we killed that general, it's all been down there. I think we've been cursed. <laughs> but it's good to know. You might that... be right. I mean, we ended up in Barovia after that. And... Fucking Barovia, man. I mean, we met Aranya, which was cool, but <laughs> that Aranya actually, it was worth the trip to, you know, Barovia just for that. Just. It is. Yeah, good to know that Davin is still alive. I know we know that already, but they don't have a direct plans to kill him right away. You do have a little um, thing that shows. I know, I, I know, yeah. but like, it's a difference between like on the edge of death constantly, and like that's all I know, and being mm. like they don't have active plans. And like, to write okay, this to he did kill him. like he was too fucking dead. Yeah, like, yeah, he's not, he's not like on his final breath for. Don't have immediate like, plans to kill him. Yeah, we there's a there, I have that like comfort now because that was just like oh cool he's got one last heartbeat forever until that stops and then it's like just one <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> um how did you even... two dragons <laughs> without Kess and Brooks I, I, we don't know when they're gonna get back I, I don't know that we can kill them. Next thing we do is try and find allies in this forest. I'm sure we can get at least one. We've already made one well, here. We have a starter in the Spriggins, but. I can always try and summon some things, but it'd be expensive to do so. Get my own. Uh, well, if you want to wait a year, I can make something. <laughs> yeah, can you get this thing of making things? What are we going to do with. Not to sound insensitive, it's still very raw, but Dagon's old body. Do we well, bury so it? Bring it with me. Do we eventually go to bury it? Do we get the parts back? I know it took you a lot of time for the Who's money. Who's going to wait until we pack at the capital or to the hideout or something? Okay. Good. <laughs> Just. As long as I, I don't hanged. know what to do. Everything so fucked. Oh, yeah. Everything is so fucked. <laughs> the one glimmer of hope is Brickshoth has a small weakness in power. He is scared of something. Sure, but if he's scared of it, then you we should be terrified. Make me yeah. a make me a history check, real quick. Do it. Yeah, you win those. Uh, so. A history check? Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually do kind of win these. Uh, 17. When so you kind of think about it, and the whole, the, the phrase of, uh, you know, the idea that Brixoth has something else to worry about were he to fail, mm -hmm. um, kind of harkens back to when you killed, um, the, the first of these dragons. That's true. Yeah. And you heard this booming voice that actively sucked the corpse of this dragon down to the depths. Um, you know, there is there is a Tiamat that not known know. to be very forgiving. Um, 
So you put one and one together and reckon that that is probably who he has to deal with were he to fail. And and the, the fear makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I think in, in this moment, that's when knowing yeah. that still is still a... We can... In this a massive awfulness we've just that we are going through that like i can maybe get something snappy in before i get fucking mauled to death by a dragon i can maybe get something <laughs> set you know there's it's it's the silver lining of this mm-hmm. always like mm-hmm. maybe i can say something but for now Jax, i need to think and not think turn my brain and because i've been up for like an hour but i could because i've always been up for like three days I I just I I don't know and I will just out of like habit I will cast Tiamat's Tiny Heart Tiamat's Tiny Heart? yeah Tiamat's Tiny Heart sorry Liamman's Tiny Heart Tiamat's Tiny Heart yeah Tiamat's Tiny Heart Tiamat you can come in yeah it's your little heart yay yippee um, Come no, sleep with us. Just this enormous dragon, like. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. Okay. Um, it's my so tiny time. heart, guys. Are you two choosing to long rest while Cinder is just gonna stay up all night? I guess so. Um, I'm night. fucking. I mean, all, well, yeah. Where the fuck we are? Yeah, for eight hours. I'm, I'm definitely pretty tapped on spells. If so okay, like, yeah. if this is gonna be like, oh, Cinder serves a point of exhaustion, then no, 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 fuck no. you. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm sleeping. Because he uh, just pulled up. Yeah. He's 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 good. The weight of everything that's happened that just like passes the fuck out straight away, just trying to like forget it all. Okay. Uh Cinder. So you're kind of keeping yes, my leash. Uh at the door, sitting, like you said, crisscross applesauce. Uh mm-hmm. with your scimitar. Laid out in your lap. Do you do anything? Like, are you thinking about something, meditating, or are you just just? No. All focus on the task at hand. Right. Make sure these fucks don't die. <clears throat> okay. Um, make a perception check first, please. And more. Four. As far as you can tell, nothing seems to be approaching. There's a lot of sound happening around the woods, but you reckon it's just that, just forest ambiance, right? Um, mm. Not much more than that. Um, and you do kind of... I wouldn't say doze off, but kind of... Due to sitting in the same position for so long, kind of... Daydream, check out a little bit. Check out a little bit. Um, and you kind of feel the ground underneath you get very warm. As these kind of puddles of, of lava begin to flow out and kind of surround you. And I'm obviously not affecting you in any way, but... Diarrhea. Um, Strikes <laughs> sure. again. Yeah. Uh, and... You're not in the forest anymore. You are somewhere else. You are in a small confined space. There is this red tint to everything you see. The walls around. Mm. Like another perception check? Okay. 17 try to like look through one of these walls because they are semi semi translucent mm-hmm. and you see this big green dragon kind of walking around and and for a moment you're confused and then it hits you um your connection isn't necessarily to Davian but your connection is very much to the necklace he's wearing. And you are now seeing what that sees. Mm-hmm. POV, you are 
the tears of in the tears of Kasu, right? And, and you try to kind of make sense of the surroundings, but but this oh my Discord is completely freaking out. Relax. You try to kind of make sense of it and see if there's anything you can learn, and then kind of snap back to where you were sitting in front of the tent, or like in the doorway of the tent. Yeah. You do get the sense that with some time, perhaps it is something you could use to your advantage. The fact that there okay. is this connection between you and the Tears of Kasuf. All right. Well, with that, interesting. Uh, you guys awaken eight hours later. Long rested. Um, what I will say before you wake up, Elazrin. Hello. You know, you, you, you are physically exhausted, mentally drained, but you do notice that yourself kind of tossing and, and tumbling, uh, tossing and turning, sorry, before you get to sleep. And as sleep finally kind of ambushes you, and suddenly you're gone, you wake up in a bed. You look around, and you awaken in this shared dormitory. There's about ten more beds. And as you hop out of bed, you also notice that you feel a lot shorter. As things are kind of falling into place, you're, you're back at the church. And the door swings open, and you see this orange-skinned tiefling in his full get-up, kind of approaching you. Good morning, Elazrin. Uh, didn't think uh, you'd sleep in today, huh? It's uh, time for training. Come! And kind of harkens you to, to to follow him. And oh, you join... Oh, super quiet. And, you, and, and this, basically, you're, you're reliving. Like, this is this this particular environment and this course of events is something you've lived many a times. And almost every day during your upbringing in the church was very much this. You get woken up... Uh, Day of training, learning, you know, cleric stuff, and uh, learning some fighting techniques, a lot of reading. But as you look around, you look at the Valor, but also the, the other teachers, and you suddenly see their heads kind of shift and turn into these draconic heads. You look back to, to, to the fellow, your fellow students, you can see them all suddenly shifting and having these draconic heads. Red, green, white, blue, uh, black, just all over the place. And then at this like large altar, kind of in the central hall of this church that you're in, you see these five figures. Shadows. But with the outlines matching the kind of draw the carvings on the back of the, the discs. And then the shadows kind of twist, turn, and take shape. And suddenly you can see this larger-than-life dragon. Five different colored heads. All the heads just looking at you. I see you. And we will meet. Very soon. And all five of the mouths open up. And ice breath. Poison breath, acid breath, fire breath, a lightning breath, all five just <laughs> gets fired at you. And right before it impacts, you wake up. See beside you, see Jax on the ground. Through the hut, you see Cinder sitting in the doorway still. <clears throat> so you wake up, you are long rested, but it wasn't that great of a sleep, you know? Okay. Uh will do my morning prayers and change my spells around. Jax. Yeah, I know, sorry. Jax. Yeah. You also, you know, eventually fall, fall asleep and Similar to Elazarin, uh, a lot happened. Uh, you're, you're tossing, you're turning. 
and it takes you quite a while to fall asleep. And when you finally find yourself some sleep, you also have a dream, naturally. What a dream all the fucking time. But in, in your dream, you're back home. Wife, kids, all sat at the breakfast table waiting for you as you kind of emerge from your <clears throat> from your workshop area in the home. Um, breakfast on the table and they're all waiting for you. And there's one more individual uh, that emerges from your workshop after you. It's Daigon. And Daigon joins you and your family for, for breakfast. And you can, you can, you can see your, your kids know who Daigon is. Your, your wife knows who Daigon is. And they are all, they're, they're talking as if they've known each other for years. And Daigon then, and Daigon, just a point of, point of note, is it, it's what she was before she was a spirit. It is her original body, uh, wearing this tool belt <clears throat> along, along her waist. Uh, these like soot stains kind of dotting her her upper body and her face um and then she looks at you uh Jax yeah so I think if we give it a couple more days we'll we'll probably have these propeller uh, boots finished up for testing and it catches you off guard because a you have no idea what, what she's talking about but b she's on like, like you a tinker uh, an inventor um, and you kind of begin to think is this what, what could have been or she you know what, could this have been what Daigon would have become if somehow you managed to keep her alive you managed to find a way to reverse her lingering soul condition and kept tutoring her like you've kind of been doing the entire the, this entirety of the time letting her help you with with tinkering and learning more and then you look back at your family and they're suddenly they're gone and the familiarity of your old home is gone and it is now just you and Daigon sitting at this workbench with a bunch of different iterations of all kinds of inventions kind of scattered out along the room and the and the workbench and and then Daigon just just looking at you Jax you okay is this real uh yes of course you you sick uh, I'm just gonna like reach out and put my hand on her shoulder yeah, it feels real. Do you hear anything I said? <clears throat> Who are you? Well, I figured you should know, given that you abandoned me and left me to die. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It's okay. It happens. But, um... Well, it wasn't the first time you left people you love to die, right? And as she says that, her body kind of begins to shift and twist as suddenly bursting through her skin from these five dragon heads and they all kind of like wrap around you and look at you and it won't be the last and then you wake up you see a Lazarin is already up and Adam he's Cinder sitting in the door <clears throat> but you are awake you long rested but uh, it wasn't great fuck you 
What do you the mean? Fuck, the fuck do you think you that are? Was so, that was so fucked, bro. That's so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> what do you mean? But... <sighs> Imagine calling Dutch fucked and you're the one leaving people to die. I mean, that's... <laughs> Thanks. Says the one who killed someone in cold blood, motherfucker. Didn't kill it's anyone. This like poor blood. dude at a chessboard. <laughs> Didn't kill him in cold blood. That was allowed, that I was, petrified that was, that was, him in warm blood. Probably, but technically. Duke, uh, hey, Dabby did it too. No. One and the same. <laughs> no. One and yeah, the same. You uh, you all wake up and you and Elijah kind of look at each other and have this like shared look of. We've stepped the bags just under bags the eyes. Under the eyes, shared look of discomfort, like some couple beads of sweat kind of like dripping from Lazarus' eyebrow and then you feel yours and you also kind of feel some sweat pulled up there. And like you, you see each other and you can tell that both of you have had a fucking rough night of sleep. Been a lot to... Been under a lot of stress. I had it all on. I had a dream about... Tiamat, which is never really a good sign. Oh, you do. Oh, thank God it wasn't just me. Because <laughs> if it was just me, I think I would have lost it all. I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't prefer it just to be you. But... Oh, understandable. Okay. Well, mine said that they're watching me and they're coming to get me, so you know. Well, we already knew they were scrying on us. I know. But it feels different when you hear the visage say it. Even if it's a dream. Um, let me try something real quick. Of course. And I want to use my scrying eye to scry on that fucking gold dragon bitch. That's a P. And figure out who the fuck this is. Um, okay. Be fucked, right? Because we just have the scene of... Oh, it's gonna be fucking terrible, and I'm definitely not gonna be able to do it, but like. I mean. There's a chance. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. You don't know to. her likeness or her picture because you don't know what she looks like. Don't have any of her possessions that you know of. Definitely don't have a body part. Um, you don't yeah. know her well. You yeah, don't know if you've met. Like... Only really heard of them, but you don't, again, you don't really know. So this is gonna be as hard as a scrying check. Could possibly be, pretty much. Facing them to run that one. Yeah, they, they get an extra five on top of their wisdom save, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, okay. Well, actually, it doesn't technically count as meeting them. No. Because she did address me. Okay. You don't know who it is, though. That's the problem. But we've met. No. I don't need to know someone to have met them. Just not True. That you know of. Don't know who this is. Thank you. You could What's have met hundreds time? of times. But you won't it's know just until fucking, you don't feel like, realize who this is on the map. just fucking Daigon, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so oh, wisdom what? save. They're all the natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> eh, fucking sick. go die somewhere deep in a hole. Holy so, um, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah um, so with that, uh, it's nothing happens. Nothing happens. Prescribe fails. Right. <clears throat> I will the first thing I think I do this morning or whatever the time of day is I will just Twilight, yeah, I will use two fourth level spells and I'll cast Death Ward on me and Jax how long does it last? 8 hours okie dokie Cinder, and you, can you, uh, you see notice that the gang is, is waking up behind you. All right. That's as much rest as you're probably going to get for a while. But let's go. Lead the way. I guess okay. I'll jump on through the portal yeah. then. Okay. Through. No time like the present. Alrighty. But as you emerge from the portal, you reach the remnants of a camp. Where the expectation may have been for more of the same as before, the reality is quite the opposite. The camp is in ruins, tents destroyed, huts burnt down, 
Blood splattered across the ground in sporadic pattern patterns. And then the horror of what happened here in this camp becomes a lot more clear. Standing dormant in the middle of this camp stands a larger-than-life, dormant construct made of flesh, dragon scale, bone, wood, and stone. So all the kobolds and shit are dead. Just this thing sitting there. It's just this this thing. You can see that it has it has this metallic dragon head. This this large torso made up of bone and stone and wood, kind of keeping it all together. Arms made of bone, stone, flesh covered in dragon scales, and some flesh just as is. Yeah. How far away is it from us? Uh, I'll say about 40 feet. Oh, that's fucking close. Yeah, and it's, it's just standing there, like, not moving, not making a sound. Where we are, like, Tablet, can I... Does this look like the other part we've just come from? Does it look very similar, sort of, like... Yeah, the layout, layout? Is, the layout is very similar. I will look. Is that Even though it's destroyed, is there... Oh, I'm just gonna look at it. Okay, a quick see see if I can find the key piece just in here and see if there is. Uh make a perception check. This bit. Uh, it's twenty-eight. You look around, there's nothing in the tent or the remnants of this tent. Look at this construct and you see hanging from its neck on a cool. chain this green dragon scaled like rod. Very much could suggest that it's shaft. I would just like you would just hear, of course. <laughs> Why would it be? <laughs> Things ever easy for us, man. We, well, this thing hopefully might be. Jack, you, you're one who's better with constructs. Does it look like it's, it's dead? Like it's, it's not there? Or does it just look like it's waiting? I would assume that it's just dormant. Oh, fantastic. We could try and maybe sneak up on it and grab key and get out of here, but I have a feeling that's not going to be an option. Okay, wait, hold on. Does the spell work on objects? On constructs, that's always the way. It's no, it's a fucking... No, 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 I was thinking if it would just work on the key, I can just summon the key. Oh. Vortex warp, but it works on creatures. Your mic is cutting out a little bit when you're like, uh, I, I just going in your thinking out loud voice. Sorry. You're, you kind of just fade away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Vortex Warp will not work on an object, just creatures. Mm. And do we think it's possible we could sneak it off its neck? How tall is it? Um, oh, shit. at the hazard, I guess it stands about like 20, 25 feet tall. Wow. No. Into this is like I sort of look up, look at where I am. I'm like, I guess because it's super dormant, I can climb on it. I don't think so. But you know, when you, is it still twilighty around here? Yeah. Could try. I could fly, I could fly can I, up. Can I cast false life on myself real sure. quick? <laughs> <laughs> um. I, we can try. Should, I assume there. it's underneath the front of the head is where the key is, correct? Yeah, just from down around the back. Yeah, that's a bummer. Is it on just a? Is it on like a like a chain that goes like around, or is it on like a chain that goes just down? It seems to be a chain that is like affixed to the metallic head. How big oh, is it went through! <laughs> huh? Like how how thick is the chain? Um. Something like this. Not bad, actually. Very thick for a necklace. <laughs> yeah. Sure, but I could, I could try. You guys just stay close. Not super close, but I don't know that it's worth it. I mean, we could try to nuke it, or maybe I look might, for a way I to. Might... Disarm are there like any like... buildings that are like still standing around here? Or are most of it no. is just like kind of like just knock the rule? Okay. 
Nothing. Maybe it hates dragon kind. And it Does be... there seem to be any injuries or holes in the construct at all? Um, make a perception check. Uh, 23. 23? Um, it looks like this thing. Um, you can see dried blood kind of splattered across its entire body. Singe marks, scratches. Um, definitely um, looks like it's been active at some point in time, and you look around at the remnants of this camp, and you feel like you found the being responsible for this mess does it other being does it look like another like full kobold camp where it's like it's all kobold bodies and like maybe half dragon like does it all seem draconic or does it seem like it was a human settlement humans l yeah well, you don't see any bodies. Oh, it's just they got absorbed into the construct oh that's that fucking got like obliterated and like there's there's ash yeah that's a good point uh Fuck it. I mean, I'll just look just like... Okay. Um, okay. I could potentially pull you back to us, assuming the portal... The portal is still there. Yeah. Right, that's in the trap door. Is there any other portals? Like trap doors trap door. around us? Okay. Mm. Uh, well, we could try whatever... If you can grab it. I can teleport you back here, and then we just jump in the portal and get out. Right. I, I but will... I don't know that this leads to the next camp or if oh, it back. leads back to where we were. I guess who's my Jack? You're better at the arcane than I am. I'm more of a... Yeah. How about portals? I don't know shit about portals, man. I think portal one, too. That, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I... Yeah, I will use the... blue, come out of orange. Yeah, doi. Put on the white. Uh... I will use steps of the night to mm -hmm. give myself a fly to start flying, okay. and I will try and like stealth fly my way up to this thing. Make a stealth check. Stealth fly. Fucking He's the stealth new stealth bomber from stealth the US government. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One billion dollars uh, putting its uh, research fun fact for a stealth bomber, yeah. not that quiet. Yeah, uh, fourteen. <laughs> oh, sorry, thirteen. Wait. Hold. Hold. I'm going to give him plus five to that with Flash of Genius. 18. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, you are now pretty much just like flying in front of this thing at the level of where the key piece is hanging. What do you do? I will... I can look at the chain. Does it seem like there's any weak links in the chain? Does it look at can come off kind of easily or does it look like it's fucking on it looks pretty hard affixed to but the construct hasn't moved no what's so up touch the key dude it's gonna be as soon as we touch the fucking key. yeah i mean i will i will i will touch the key i can i will try and grab the key and see if there's a way to suddenly like... the metallic head begins to creak and look down at you and you can see these blue luminescent orbs kind of light up in the eye holes and you, you can see the mouth animate and move as if talking and you hear in common only five individuals with permission to touch, state your names. And I want to point it out that yeah. this thing is speaking to you, mm -hmm. but said names plural. Oh, so it knows we're here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
I will have let go of the thing at this point, hands like straight away up in like a uh well don't mean any, you know, very like passive sort mm-hmm. of gesture like don't mean any harm. <sighs> um it seems um Jax mm-hmm. you you know with your experience in making things this response is almost like like this is like you know this is this thing is programmed to respond with this as soon as someone touches the key yeah from it's from... not necessarily that this is a personalized response to a Lazarin. This is just the response it gives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the, the oh, I booted up. Oh, Here yeah. we go. Cinder just yells from the back of the camp. Bricksoth, pale cutter, death jaw. Bricksoth. First name accepted. What is? Your other name. Oh my god. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. That's, it's a wild shot. It's a wild shot of the dark dude. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Did it seem like it stopped almost listening after he said the first name? So like it wouldn't register anything else he said after? It, it seems that it just responded to the first name in that list, and now that you said Christopher... <laughs> <laughs> Input not accepted. Two oh. tries remaining. Death jaw? Death jaw accepted. What is your other name? Hello, Cutter. Fucking idiot. Input not accepted. Shit. One I remaining. It um. seems to you, mm-hmm. with your the limited knowledge you have on dragons. We aren't five. We know what's going on. We know what's going on here. Yeah. Somehow, fucking name. Jax doesn't. The most intelligent one I'm in the dumb. group, but. It seems to be asking for both the name of the draconic form of one of the dragons as well as their visage. Mm. So they're got the the, the oh, thing fuck. they disguise themselves as when they're not in the dragon. Well, I don't remember. I can't remember the rest of the dragons' names or the empress's name. I know. I mean, because I got the fucking document up that Dutch sent me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> them all on. What notes are for? Yeah. I it does not. It does not does the business. <laughs> no. nope. Um. Okay. Can I cast detect magic? Sure. Outside of like ten feet closer, something within that thirty feet range. Mm-hmm. This is magical, correct? You get flash banged by the amount of magical auras that suddenly just like, <laughs> like this entire and there's thing. There's multiple emanates so much magic multiple sources multiple parts of its body multiple like everything about so you're saying with the spell magic i probably wouldn't do anything using it because there's so much magic in it there's at least 10 different cool. enchantments so one in ten. ten cast the spell magic 10 times one in, bro one in 10 to get it right perfect right get, get the <laughs> hacking to see what makes this thing like give us the key or get the fucking turn turn the robo off you know what i mean like uh uh, with my construction and tinkering knowledge. Right. Um, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> would I be able to distinguish between these and maybe narrow down my choices of things I would dispel potentially? Um, no. And I'm going to say Fuck. no because. It's about to be a leveled spell, right? This is very powerful magic. Various, uh-huh. very powerful magics. And you quite simply just lack the knowledge of that level of uh, tinkering. Whoever made so this or 10. enchanted this construct is a uh, inventor superior to you, it would seem. That's rude. First off. Okay. 
Um, Let it be a, a motivator. How many sources of evocation would there be from it? Curiosity. Sorry, it, it's like, it's semi-important, because if there's only one... Oh, fuck. One, three. I was like, okay, if there's one evocation, maybe there's just one damage, I could just nullify that. And... <laughs> but that would be all three by my... Um, while Jax is doing the stinking, by the way, like, Lazarin, this, this metallic head with, like, the blue orbs in, in the eye sockets is still just, like, looking at you. Not saying anything, not but it's just, it's just looking, staring into your soul. And, like, it is the stare into the void, like, I sort of look back, and I'm like, it's the first gaze, like, straight away, I'm like... <laughs> oh, I don't know this shit... <laughs> Is it bad? I just want to yell to you, man. Yeah, right? Isn't it just... Oh, I know, know it's going to be wrong, though, so that's the problem. Looking through, like, our note don't. pages, but I don't have anything on this. The Why Brick don't you Soth. Go? Brick Soth and Death mm. Jowers. There's three well, other potentials. No, no. We need. Do we know the alter ego names of any of the dragons? No. Well, then we're fucked. We know they're like, like I say, their titles, but you have like, boy kisser. Oh yeah, yeah there's the... pill cutter. You know. Well, no, because like there's like the, the green ones, like the vile manipulator. Yeah, but that's not that's and not like it. stuff like that. Like that's that's I'm, I'm not saying that's the answer. I'm saying that's just what we know. Yeah. So Yo, we the have to just, knowledge you have is on their. We have to just blow this thing up. Forms. They just have no just. Knowledge. Oh, recording knowledge on, on their, their visage. Oh, just hit it with a fucking. Even though we killed Death Jaw, which is crazy. Okay, I'm. I just buff myself. Oh, what's the? Is there any wrong. on the coins that we got? On the one for Death Jaw, is there any fucking writing on them? No. No, there's just this this elven. It's just the image. Head. Yeah, I net twenty on that shit. No, I was true, you did, didn't you? I forgot. So all you know is that, uh, um, Nazarg. Cosplays yeah. as a dwarf. You know yeah. that Palecutter cosplays as some kind of bald man. <gasps> uh, you know that uh, Wait, it's Rixoth, uh has a visage that seems somewhat tiefling esque. Oh my know... god, what the fuck oh, is. Fuck, what is Brooks's clone's name? Yeah, fuck. We got it's that Brooks, but one. backwards. It's a uh, scorb. Fucking hit. Oh my god, we did get given that information. Laura, where are you? <laughs> yeah, but. I don't even think we've gotten the information, though. Don't we need to tell... I don't we've ever gotten a name of him. He asked what our names are. So we need more than one, right? We know, we know it's... No, we only the... need the one, because you need three, right? We know that it's the Butcher, and then it'll be whatever the fucking... That guy looks at Brooks is. You just say the Butcher and fucking... <laughs> yeah, what if we fun. just say Brooks's name? Fuck it. We'll do it that way. Okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go. cast mirror image real mm -hmm. quick, just yeah. in case. I was I would say the butcher. Can I wait? Can I cast fire shield? Yeah. Cool. Um. And I'm just so disappointed with us. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's definitely something we've missed here. Oh, it's designed <laughs> to fail. Um, designed to fail. The thing is. It's a boss fight. Yeah, I know. Of the five dragons, four you were given specific yeah. names. The red one, only given the nickname the Butcher because that is the only name or name, as in, um, you know, all that, that yeah, she's known as. Yeah. Assuming the Butcher isn't her real name, it's just like it's it a might title. Be. But you could. It might be. If that is what you try. So I'll try because I'll do it as a b bitch. They my weird name, Death Jaw, the Butcher. You know, name input incorrect. Yeah, cool. Uh -oh. Zero so attempts remaining. And suddenly, the entire body begins to shift. You can see this like one arm completely made of this dragon scale covered um, flesh. Uh, with like, this, this sharp claw, the other arm is this just like completely made of bone, torso and head, kind of these metallic plates and this metallic dragon head, and the legs are just these large, 
bone, wood, and stone fortified stumps. It's just bone and stone. Bone initiative. Okay. Bone cool. and. Uh, should we That's... take a break first and then go uh, yeah. for combat? Yeah, because I got a P. Yeah. Alright, yeah. bet. Quickly roll initiative. Uh, do you guys have Tails Power open? Yeah. Fortunately. Yo, I got rolled initiative. I rolled the same number twice. Let's roll yeah. initiative after the break. Yeah. So that dude can launch Tailspire? <laughs> so that I can just pretend that I didn't roll a natural two. Fine. Whatever. We'll, go, we'll take our break first. God. No, I want to keep the numbers I got. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. I'm going to keep the numbers I got there. I don't want to keep the number I got either. Oh, Fuck. There go. We'll roll initiative after Oh, we'll roll it then. We'll be right we'll back. <laughs> we got blessed, bro.
is how much cum can he swallow it in a minute. Stop. Uh, <laughs> okay, you gotta that? stop. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh, hot day. <laughs> what the fuck did I just unmute to? I really Who wanted omnidirectional okay? dick suck face to make it into the cut, but yeah, that's what's that'll, that'll work. Omnidirectional dick suck face. All right. <clears throat> so who does the science, bro? Roll for uh, initiative. This. So have we confirmed? Is Ono just an entity on its own that can act on its own? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, if if Davian is incapacitated, which we'll say he is for the sake of this, Onu can do his own thing. Okay. Ooh, new mini. It's the same mini I used for Cinder when y'all summoned him. I know. No, no, I meant the dragon. Oh yeah, it's, it's just the base red dragon. Feels quiet. Um, should have. Name it. Draconic Construct. So, so this now is a, uh, an enemy, by the way, like the stat block that I completely made myself. Oh, Seems a bit. Great, crazy. so we're definitely dead. No. So um, now we're we rolling it. Shall I just or... act as Onu then in that case? Or would you would would you want to do it, Duke, since you're familiar with Onu's skill set and all that? Yeah, I can do it. Yep. Um Yes, because I have Davin's sheet open and Onu's attack is Davin's okay. spell attack. Can you just roll me initiative for Onu then as well? Just with Whatever Onu's like fixes on top. <clears throat> okay. Well, you want him to have a separate initiative? Uh, uh, we could just make him go after Cinder, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. We'll yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, okay. That works. Um, okay. Initiatives of 20 or more? 30 20. Uh, 22. Go fuck yourself. Uh, Jax, what'd you roll? Six. Alright, Cinder. Uh, you are up first. I will say, Dutch, you will need to move me to be like right in front of the construct. Oh, true. Oh, yeah, Cinder I'm right goes it. first. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, hold on. I would say so, that would have re-upped it as well because it lost a minute, so I'll re-up it. Yeah, like, I cast Fire well. Shield. And... I will... Use... Wait, let me see. I'll use my bonus action to cause my arms to become an ensconced in flames. Uh... Ba -ba 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 your Ifriti bangles, correct? Yeah. Lights real quickly. Yeah, bro. Fucking, I was talking uh, Cinder stuff with Duke last night, and I, w I went through the, the Griffin Saddlebag shit, and I found an item, a legendary item, called the Ifriti bangles, which is very sick, and very, like, just, like, on brand since Cinder is an Ifriti, so I was like, fuck it, you'll, you'll have that. It's like a little, little, little thing. Oh, mean. What the hell? And now I'll run up and fucking hit him with my scimitar. Okay. Wait. <sighs> Twelve to hit. As you swing, you can just see you go with a swing from your scimitar, and it just it just bounces off with this metallic head. <clears throat> uh. Don't forget to move your token as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, f I flew, of course. And then I took a swing and I missed. And, uh... I'm a fucking warlock, so I don't get <laughs> multiple attacks. Nope. Which kind of stinks, piss. But that's okay. Right. Wait. Wait. Okay, yeah, that's that's my turn. Onu. Onu's just gonna fucking. Oh, he's a bird, isn't he? So we can fly in, do a quick peck, fly back out. Meow, boop, meow. You all saw it. Uh. Meow. 
10, mm -hmm. oh god, 10 damage, so 17 to hit. Just misses. Yeah. As Onu flies in, tries to peck at it, it just kind of, it kind of just manages to hit the more bony arm, and it just kind of, thunk, flies back off, and you can see Onu kind of like, <laughs> just kind of like headbutt this, this, this larger than life force and just kind of kind of you know a little 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 fucking yellow birds kind of around his head bro's dad just disappeared all right give him some slack <clears throat> all right is that everything um yes okay Lazarus going to be a real shock to the system where Lantern's first move after all this combat we've just had, it's been so awful. Actually, no. Oh! Not the dome. Because it is a natural surprise. Flame strike? No, I will cast Holy Weapon Okay. on the Dragon Bone Cleaver. Okay. And I will just, if possible, can I aim for that like fleshy draconic arm? Sure. I'm just gonna take a swing at it. I am upping the AC though, because that's what makes because I feel very that, that makes sense. I want to hit that part of the body. The AC that, is that makes that's fine. Makes sense. Up it well, by I'm upping it. Uh, upping it by three. So twenty six to hit. That hits. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Cool. Does that technically do this do the two d six extra damage? No, because technically, this is a I construct. Know. I know, but I could. Yeah. I have to ask. Yeah, yeah no, no. I, I got uh, the it's, it's, so what is it? One d six normally, and because of holy weapon, this is an extra two d eight radiant damage. Ooh. Okay. Let me still check out. I'm right in there is two d eight. Yeah, actually two d eight radiant damage, and I think all the other shit is if I stop conjuring the spell. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Oh shit! Wild maximum the fucking radiant damage. Right. Uh, so do you need that? Do you need any like damage differently? Cool. Uh, so that is that's twenty six points of damage. Twenty six points of damage, yeah. I just, like, I mean, you go to swing at this uh, this construct's like more dragon scale covered arm, and you can see, you can see that you, you slice off some of the dragon scales, and underneath you can just see this like thick, thick arm made of animated stone and, and pieces of bone. And I will also just say to it, I'm like, I'm not in the mood for this, <laughs> and. That'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, that makes it its turn now. And you can see the metallic mouth opening up. And you can see that in its mouth there is this small kind of like pipe. And then suddenly you see a spark as the pipe just leaks out this gas. The spark just... As it just breathes fire in a cone. Uh, and it is going to aim like an angle so uh, it doesn't really matter because cinder is immune anyway but it's going to aim, aim it down to hit uh elazarin ja and Jax. just down and so i need Jax and elazarin to make dexterity saving throws i'm really good at those natural 20. okay you take half damage um shit. 14. 14. just fail Sick. Um. All right. So. Um. Twenty-eight points of fire damage to Jax. Fourteen to Elazar. Half. Again, because I am resistant to fire damage. There you go. So seven. Uh. Okay. And it is then, on top of that. Also going to you can see it kind of raise its uh the arm that is just this like stump bone. 
and it just kind of raises it up. And you can see from the bone, all these bone spikes kind of begin to just jut out and just fly out. Fly towards the axe. Uh, that is a, that's an 18 to hit. Hits. Hits? No. Okay. Not 18. Um, yeah, so you see these bone spikes just like shooting out of this guy's arm and you manage to kind of like, you, you're carrying a shield, correct? Or is it just your uh, armor? Not currently. Kind of raise your arm up and you can see some of the bone spikes kind of like embed into your armor and the rest kind of flies past you. And they're they're about like day big, but there's like so many of them just fucking. But uh, no, you're fine. All right, that's its turn. Dax. Uh, well, I wasn't sure if we we're gonna fight it, but it looks like we're fighting it now. So I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull out the fucking. <sighs> yeah, I'll pull out the mall. Right. And I use my bonus action to light it. Oh, the furnace hammer? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna take two swings, baby. Yep. There's a 24 to hit on the first one. Yes. And uh 21 to hit on the second one. Also hits. Do you need fire damage separate? Um no, I do not. It may look like a dragon in parts, but it very much isn't a dragon. <laughs> Uh, 17 points of damage for the first one. Okay. And 23 points of damage for the second one. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. I think I've used everything. Cinder. Uh, 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 I, I, wait, how long does this shit last? The, uh, um, Bangle? Yeah. I'm pretty Here. sure the, as written, uh, it lasts until you, until you to speak the command word you again. Drop to zero hit point. Okay. So, so I will bonus action speak the command word for my scimitar. Okay. Also, so my arms are on fire, and now uh, my sword is on fire. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll hit him with my sword, okay. which is a twenty-one. That hits for one plus two. Plus three. Six. So 66. <clears throat> so, oh god, it's all awful though. Seven points of slashing damage. Uh huh. Magical slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Which reduces his speed by, by 10, 10 feet, feet, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And then f one, two, three, four, eight points of fire damage. <clears throat> okay. Which rolling eight on five d six, crazy cringe. That is, yeah, that sucks. Insanely cringe. That's, yeah, that's <clears throat> awful. That is, yeah, two, three above minimum. Um, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which also, you know, he's not resistant to. Uh, no. And that's my turn. So, Onu. Yeah. Don't want it again. It's like a Pokemon. Yeah. Fucking Pidgey's tackle, bro. Okay. Oh, it's quick. Uh,. <laughs> There's a, a, a 16 on the die, which means it's a 23 overall. Yeah. 
Four. Nine points of piercing damage. To damage? Right? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Um, as you've now reached a certain HP threshold, the construct kind of begins to glow. This, this, this orange, yellow, reddish hue kind of emanating of it, uh, very reminiscent of Cinder's color scheme. As flesh and metallic body begin to set ablaze. This is magical fire now surrounds the, this, this, this being. The squishy bits completely just melting, burning away, revealing just the stone and bone underworkings. <clears throat> um, anyone in melee with it? Hi. The fire damage. So. Um, I need Jax and Azrim to make a constitution saving throw. Touch. Why do you hate me? I don't. Con save, 21. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, also makes it, so you guys both take half damage. But you suddenly just feel this rush of an intense heat, almost trying to just melt away your skin. Um, so you would have taken 16 points of fire damage, but you take 8. Or 4 if you're resistant. Look at that. It is now your turn, Elasmo. Uh... No, and feeling... because you start your turn <laughs> in melee with it, oh, really? I need you to make a con save. <laughs> Ooh, that's not gonna work. Uh, six. Six. Yeah. Okay. So the again, this intense heat. Uh, I rolled like a ass though. Uh, in this intense heat, kind of just trying, like you can see pieces of the, the of the of your clothing kind of beginning to singe just from being in the vicinity of this guy. Uh, you take ten, so five points of fire damage. That's fine. Uh, and then once again, I'm just. I'm not gonna be aiming for the arm. Feeling that, like, even though I like hit like draconic scales, it didn't like cut through as easy no. as it has done previously. Yeah, you've seen it. Am I... uh, you've seen yeah, more I've seen it. Yeah. grandiose reaction yeah. from the dragon kind being hit well, by that particular weapon. Am I able to get into a place of flanking with anyone? Um, if you were to like lower yourself to ground level, yes. I'll fucking do that then. And you can choose to be either, either directly opposite Cinder or Jax in this. I'll go opposite. I'll go opposite Jax. Okay. Yeah. Just off turn. Yeah, ju just have enough movement. Okay, no. I was 20 feet up, wasn't I? Or was I a little bit lower? Uh, you were 20 feet up, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, not. They're, they're, they've got just enough of them. That's fine. Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna fucking swing with advantage. Stop. Didn't matter because it's lower. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. 27 to hit. Yeah. Yes. And then, yes. I'm rolling really well on these. Uh, 24 Good. points of damage. 4 points of damage. Uh, and then I will bonus action. Uh, I will do... Just... Uh... Actually, no. We're fine. Never mind. I won't do that. Yeah. I'll save the spell slot. Okay. So that's your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. All right. This construct is now going to multi-attack and make three swipe attacks. Uh, and this will affect anyone in its melee, so all three of you. Cool. Um, so we'll see. Wait, they all three hit all three of us? Yeah. If if it, if it I'm just going to roll my one attack, and if it meets all three of your ACs, then yeah. Ooh. Um, but like it does, it does this three times, so... First attack is a 27. I'm assuming it hits all of you? Uh-uh. A little bit. You mean uh? -uh. 
I just don't want to hit, so it doesn't hit. Second attack. I duck, bro. Second attack is only a 13. Nice. This is all of you, I think. Yep. Third attack is another natural 19, so another 27. Right. Stinky! Uh. So one misses to its two hit. Can you roll, like, worse? Nope. Fucking that touch geek just wants us all to die! Just run a DPS, so he can just switch to one d Dude, this is bro. a perfectly fine balanced fight for three of you. Bro. I know, but he just wants us to die! And... In... In 20, 27... You, you all take a total of 35 points of bludgeoning damage. Wait! Oh! oh. I'm waiting on. How much? 35. Legend. 35. I'm going to Hellish Rebuke. Okay. So please make a... Dex save. Dex 30 saving throw. 30. Yeah, uh, 16. Five. Oh, that is the DC. Ooh. That's cringe. Um, But I also have Fire Shield active and you attack me twice. Correct. So you take 4d8 damage and there's no save there. Oh, so shit. It's just, I have mirror image up. Oh, you do, yeah. yeah. I am mirror oh, image up. Oh, oh, shit. I don't know if it doesn't hit me. I'm mirror image up. So yeah, you, I... got, you got hit twice. Hey. Uh... Duke, I hope you fucking fall down a well and it hurts your ass again. Wait, so no, you, no, you no, got I hit twice, Soko, Soko, so I guess roll two, two, uh, twice for your mirror image. Not that first one still hits. Okay. Great to see it. That okay. second one still fucking <laughs> All cool. right. <laughs> so you still take 35 points of damage. <laughs> oh, two and a five, bro. Are you kidding you take nine points of fire damage from fire shield. Okay. That's stinky. Oh, and, and then just need to roll a six or higher for one of them to not hit. Yeah, they're no, right. You got a six, like. Imagine I die without ever actually proccing that. Okay, hold on. That'd be such a you way to go as well. Just you <laughs> Stoko the player. That's a bit of you, that. That's a bit me, that. No, it's the dice, bro. Uh, it's, no, just Stoko, how cursed you are. You with take the 43. Halved to 21 fire damage from Hellish Rebuke. Can, do, can you fuck off? Oh. Do, you're not even playing Davian anymore and you're still getting the last hit. Can you fuck off? How do you want to finish I mean, this construct dude, off? He swings sure. through and on the second blow, Cinder just erupts with flame that just totally like envelops and overwhelms the fire that was already surrounding the construct and just like parts of the metal... And the wood all smolders, the metal kind of starts glowing, <clears throat> and it's in a workings melt as it's just like completely overwhelmed with fire straight from the fucking city of brass, baby. All Represent right. well, the as CB. You do that, and the, the, the light kind of begins to dim. You can see that this entire construct disintegrated, and all it left behind, two things. First thing is middle part of the key. Second thing, item called Dragon's Hall. It's a bit beyond and read out to the class what it is and what it is. I did the last it's one. This, it's this, so. it almost looks like this piece of ear jewelry shaped like a like a dragon, kind of made to go around the entire like ear and the... Find it? Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got it. Okay, good, because so I think one. I typed something in wrong. Dragon apostrophe S. Yeah, that's what. Ah, uh, like, yeah, that's where I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what fucked me up the first time. This ear cuff imparts a deeper understanding of draconic history and language upon its wearer. While wearing the ear cuff, you can understand and speak draconic. In addition, you gain a plus one bonus to any charisma, intelligence, or wisdom ability checks you make that involve dragon related lore. It is known that dragons were here long before any other races, but a more unknown factor is that each dragon has a humanoid altar that you use to infiltrate society. This raises the question, how many dragons have you be, have you interacted with without knowing? <gasps> Fucking cool. At least five. Yeah, at least. <laughs> minimum. Six? Six, technically. <clears throat> the Empress. Um, if Jax doesn't want it, I'll put it. Have it. That's fine. I will. I will 
Wait, does it need attunement? I don't think so. Wait. Thank God. I didn't see attunement. Neither did oh. I, but. Now you're a bit more knowledgeable when it comes to dragons. And we're still going to roll bad. Uh. Probably. <laughs> cool. I'm not going to equip that item because mm -hmm. when I do, yeah. it like tripled everything in my stats. Okay. Uh, I seem to have maybe so, fucked up the. Uh, okay. So. I'll edit like, that. No, it's, I, supposed to, it's supposed to do that. I'll no, edit so, that uh, yeah. post stream to make sure that it functions correctly. But so for now, so, uh, just uh, keep in mind that you have a plus I one. Think, to those I flaws. think it just. Get, I think. No, it's going more. Yeah, so like. It just adds 11 to all my stats. So. Dude, that's oh. a bug. Yo. That's <laughs> not how that's supposed to interact. Like, all right. Not my, like, giga buffed with no not my Not my actual, like. Things, but all my checks oh. and the like, wizard saying throws go up by eleven. And I'm like, yeah. that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to. So uh, I, I was like, edit that. that. I was like, that does not seem no, correct. No, that doesn't no, seem right. Okay, that no, does that not seem work. like. Uh, I'll, 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 right. I'll fix it post stream. Yeah, that's fine. I will just keep it unattuned. I would <laughs> argue that we keep it the way it is. <laughs> the way, yeah, you know, it, it, maybe. not too late for me to spawn in two more of those dudes, Jax. Uh, do it, pussy. Don't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't regale. Also, what what's the coincidence? Me two two campaigns in a row get an item that Dutch is like no. Nah. <laughs> well, no, this no, one's no, an no. accident. This is just not functioning. No, 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 no. It should have should have functioned. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, but still funny. <laughs> <laughs> twice, twice has happened to me. Uh, after the, I'll put like put that on, and then uh, I'm going to use like another three charges of the spider. Because okay. assume it's um... every dawn it changes. Yes. Charges. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to so, throw some my way too. Uh, <laughs> I, I let me see how much I need because I, I can look very good. As I say, well, I might just use my spell slots and use it. Yeah. So now I have your I second piece of the key. Um, you're doing some. Do I add my mod? Actually, we can short rest now. Do I? It's add my your... mod, so pl my plus five. No, no, no. But do I add your modifier for every cast? Yeah. So if I cast it, every casting. Three, so cool. if you're using three, you get plus fifteen. 15. Uh, okay, so it's... 20. And it's at level 2, so it's 2d8? Yeah, 20. 2d8. 36. 2d8. 40. 36. Looks like tips to spell this isn't better. What the fuck is 49 plus 15? Fucking 64. 64. 64. Hold on, push it back to 4, and then I'll, I'll give it... I'll spend another... Uh, 3 charges. No, wait. What? What did you say, short rest? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm not against it. Now, there's the dust settled, that we're all good? Yeah. 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 Okay, before we move on, gather round, and uh, Cinder presents a ring that is like a large emblem of flames, um, similar to the Tears of Kosuth, and... In an instant, you're all <laughs> zooped into the ring and into a, a three-chambered room that is like three metal gold in color and in a shape similar to that of the three flames of the ring. I always picture that thing from Zelda. The, yeah, like, yeah, the one of the <laughs> like, like, one like of the things fire like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like those three little flames. Anyway, basically, what we're doing here um, is uh, Cinder isn't a free tea, but mechanically, from a, I'm the, I, was, a I wasn't going to give he's Duke, just genie warlock. I wasn't going to yeah. give Duke an a free tea stat block and be like, this is what you can do. Why not? Right? He made a smile fire ganasi uh, genie warlock, but he is an a free tea. But he is like, a free tea. But mechanically, a free obviously have vessels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just yeah. if I were to have given you. And the free Starbucks like I know I know two things. <laughs> I can go um, flame. I can attack with scimitar. <laughs> in in the in the center of the room, but a lot of health. Dog. In the center of the room, a tall, brass and uh, ruby shisha pipe with red hot coals and several. Uh, what do you call them? Yeah, yeah. pipe is you know pipes. I guess yeah. Yeah. several pipes yeah. coming from the stand itself. Cushions, you know, low table, whatever. Yes. Um, and we can short rest in ten minutes. So, yeah. That's there you go. Okay. 
Time is of the essence. Let's have a quick talk. Have a little sit down. I'll get my fucking spell slots back. Yeah. I I mean, I'll take the fattest toke. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, That's 15. 15, okay. I was going to see, like, if you would have rolled a letter. You would have coughed your fucking lungs. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. fine. <laughs> and that, that's just been in like a boarding school environment. We probably did shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke weed. We said, yeah. I just, had a, no, no, I had a uh, Lush, phase, uh, back in the day. Oh, uh, no, Lush was definitely the fucking kid who would have been like, I'm a teacher! I'm telling! <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then we'd like go to the teacher's lounge, they're all fucking doing it, and it's like, oh, fucking, whatever. Yeah, the, like, the, the stuff they time... confiscate from the kids, they use. Yeah, like, like, like the second authority has done it, he's like, oh, it's fine. But if it's anyone else, he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, oh, cool. And after the 10 minutes, wait, I'm pretty sure I can cast False Life, like, at will. Probably. It's a Warlock so, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just... Yeah. Oh, it might, it might not be at will. It might be once without... It's, it's, at, will. Oh, it at, it's will. at will. It's at will. It is at will, yeah. Thank God. yeah. It's just False Life, bro. There's a, so, yeah, there's a couple of shit like that where it's like... Once without explaining it's like, it's a first level spell. Some, some, right? some, some of them uses... Yeah. Like, I can use Conjure Elemental, but it uses else Life. Or... Some is once per day, yeah. Mm, so I get seven temporary hit points as we leave the vessel. Right. I love the flavor on the vessel thing, man. Yeah, no, it's it's sick as fuck. Okay, so you emerge back from the ring and uh, you just kind of, you know, came unexpectedly. Put oh, the ring back on. I will pick up the second part, the key. Is yeah. it still like attached to the chains? Is it like in his burning and no, everything disintegrated like... except for that Not from rod and the cool. bang, the. Your, 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 your cuff. Actually, quite it actually matches a lot of just earrings he has in his ears anyway, <laughs> quite well. There so, should be some art, so right, right, as well, like on the item itself yeah. in the Indian Beyond. That yeah. shows what it looks like. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it matches quite well. Yeah, it's just like a little dragon. I'm like, yeah, because yeah. he's got like this, I've got the three like studded rings. So it like. So it takes uh, over your brain. Oh, dude, I can't have an item that a dragon speaks in my ear twice in a row. No, we've been through that. Okay. Uh, does the second part of the key fit into the first part we've got? Does it like does it um, fit together? No. If I cast mending, does it fit together? Also no. Oh, that's kind of cringe. But we need all three. We need all three. Um, we were also told to like bring all the pieces yeah. back to Shasa, and she would be able to put them together. Yeah, but if I could fucking. Well, we don't want to go one. back to her. Yeah, but if I could cut the man. fucking. It can't no, no, fucking it's like get it myself, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Cool. Uh is there Is there like another portal trap door area? Um As you begin to search, you all suddenly begin to hear pitter patter. A lot of pitter patter. As emerging from the woods nearby comes this group of maybe 50 or more Spriggans that all just... Oh, shh. ...from running. Um, any of you speak Sylvan? By chance. Oh, we lost the guy that speaks Sylvan. No. So, you see, you know, Davian's main man. And we know what we don't want to be now. And then we... You guys don't understand what he's saying. I go like... <laughs> he just kind of looks at, at, at you three. You don't um, understand me? Yes. No. 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 Huh? If it goes. You don't, um, don't understand me. Well. I was going to try and swindle you for this. Holds up the dragon skill covered key uh, key parts, the two the, the the teeth of the key. But I language barrier difficult. Where friend? There's 
and kidnapped. Dragon napped? Dragon stole him. Takes off. Yeah. So, dead. No. No. And as they said, I will feel the. Well, I have already had the necklace. I will always feel. So there's any changes, but like I'll like put my hand to it because I make no, sure it's always touching like still, the skin. It's still, uh... burning. <laughs> still, it's still, it's still burning. Oh, you go rescue him. Yes. Yes. He was nice. Yes. Okay. Onu oh, nods emphatically. <laughs> he, he tosses the the, the tooth. I will. The key. I will take out like a small dagger I have and like pass it to him as like a trait. Pointy. And Big you see like pointy. a group of ten of the Spriggans immediately come rush to accept him. They're like, because these things are like this big, man. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, but it is, it's like putting it on it's like, like... It's like watching ants carry bread back to their yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like watching Pikmin carry a Duracell back yeah, to exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he distracted kobolds then found other camp. I snuck in stole that Right under their noses. <laughs> Good job, well done. Thank you. Thanks okay. Good. Um, good luck. Goodbye. Thank you. They all just I'm right now. Turning, turning around and they're trotting back into the woods. Ten of them carrying this dagger. I feel like once again... I've made a bad choice with that, but you know. Oh, dude, I just realized every time, well, when I hit with an attack for the first time each turn, I can just deal an extra fire damage doing that the whole time as well. Oh, well. I only hit with one attack, though, right? And so, and then yeah. just yeah, exploded. I, so. I only got one turn. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess we got to go back I get back through this forest. Well, do we just think the village with her? I don't have a thing to get there. We're at, we're at like just think and hope. Think and hope, yeah. What the fuck was that bitch's name? Shasa. The fuck? What did you say? Yeah, I will. Well. But it going, I suppose. No time like the present. All right, and I'll fucking pick up the robot body and reckon on. <clears throat> okay. Um. All right. You begin to brush through. The woods. Uh, who's leading? Yes, in this moment, probably okay. me. I think. Yeah, Elijah's the dude. most driven right now. I, I think. Yeah, Elijah just our uh, pure, just like, let's get this fucking shit done. I've had enough of this fucking forest. I want to be nowhere near it anymore, and I still got to be here for fucking ever. He's okay. upset. Make he a make there. a survival check and roll a d twenty. Sunny spaghetti. So, so the survival check is a 22, and the regular d20 check is a 4. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you push through the tree line and immediately kind of just, just this, this instinct kind of take over. Um, <clears throat> and then you push into a tree to kind of like brush past it and suddenly you hear this voice coming from the tree excuse you <laughs> oh very sorry Didn't, quite um... rude to bump into somebody and then just not apologize 
to just about where I started. After I insinuated. I... Fair enough. Once again, my apologies. I, um... Apologies it's been, a it's been a long, long old day. Um... Nice to meet you. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Don't meet many people around here. Any... What's your... Hmm? No, you go. No, you go on. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, I'm just saying. I love a song or a story or two. Going in this place, make it worth your while. I. will tell the story that Elazarin knows as far at least with his adventures but from the perspective of Daigon and Daigon's sort of like life with the party into its tragic sort of end and the like flows like make, take fucking this on his face make a Make a persuasion check with advantage. Wait, what check did you say? Persuasion. Uh, 22. Hmm. That was a sad story. What the if story's If Dump was able to cry, he would. Very well. Have this. And he hands you this small pouch. Mm -hmm. Might come in handy. And you can tell that this bag, even though it's, the pouch is quite small, it's quite hefty. Uh, weighing about two and a half pounds. Oh. Put my hand in the pouch and see what's in there. Uh, you feel eight beans. Hey. You can add a bag of beans to your inventory. bag of beans. Bag of beans. Baby. So it has eight beans. Wrong bean sock, boys. Bag. Wait, please tell me the bag of beans actually grows a bean stock at some point. It's what uh, if you roll a one hundred on d one hundred, it does. <laughs> oh yeah, my dude. god, that's so cool. That's so cool. Definitely oh, I misread. Right? Yeah. Hmm? I like misread one of these like things, right? Just because bag of beans. It's fucking weird. Because it says die as in like to roll a dice, right? Mm -hmm. But like I read it and I was like, if a because like if a creature eats this and dies, it's like, whoa, whoa. I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I, I just read this quickly. What? <laughs> Oh, roll the die. I was like, oh, thank fucking Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's so many like things. Like the subtitles in Austin Powers when the guy asks yeah. him if he wants shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Um, yeah, so. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, there's a lot of random shit and a lot of, like, dangerous shit, too. <laughs> yeah. So let's plant all eight right now and just hmm. have fun with it. Well, I'm sure you have places to be, but it was very nice to hear a tale. One favor I ask of you, maybe ask the burning man to avoid touching me as he passes. Oh, of uh, course. Flame off. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a little less burny. A little bit. That... Oh, it was very nice meeting you. Oh, you ever happen to run into Stump again? Tell me a tale. Give you some more. Love to meet you, Stump. 
and I'll look back at the guys and I'm being like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for your beans. No problem. Yep. And I will try and squeeze past yeah. as carefully as possible. And after like, as we just wait a moment, like, still got that like kind of tear coming down his face a bit and still like swipes away and goes, Right, can I carry on? Onwards. Make another survival check and roll another d20. Don't fuck it up. Uh, the survival check was a 15, and the d20 roll was a 19. That means we. Brixel yeah. shows up. Yeah, yeah, yippee! <laughs> that's a 20. No, that's. <laughs> Yeah, 20 on both. Not 20 survival, not 20 thing, just bricks off. Just back door to the cage where Daphne is, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you push through more of the brush and eventually reach a path. This path looks quite quaint. Leading over this kind of this, this tree root bridge over a small little beach. And you can see on top of this bridge, kind of not blocking the path, but kind of slap bang in the middle, is this um, elven-ish looking individual, uh, male. And as soon as he locks eyes with you, Elazarin, you just hear him shout, Hi, aren't you a sightful sore eyes? Come here, let me look at you. You look dashing. Kind of, kind of creepy, dude. Kind of fucking can, can, creepy. Can we just... Well, if, if believing in love at first sight is to be considered creepy, then lock me up. But please, would you do me the honor of joining me on this bridge? I look back at... Uh, mainly Jack. Corbin gets invited to bridge. Do we need? <laughs> I, 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 true. Shame and legends. Blocking is blocking our way forward. Hmm? Yeah, I will. Kind of. I'll just look at the other two, like Sinter and Jack, and just be like, "Please let me alone with him." I could just knock him out. I have a feeling that. Oh, I'll probably have a position. Yes. Uh. Let's just go over and see what the fuck this man wants, and I'll like go over. I'll just start walking over. Oh, I can't. my sweetheart, come here. Let me look at you. Don't go near me. He, <laughs> like, reaches into his pockets and whips out this 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 red rose and hands it to you. Oh and my. Kind of like, uh, bows. Oh, you're even more stunning up close. Oh, how wonderful it is bumping into you in this in, in these woods. Can I just try walking past him? He, yeah, you, you walk past, just fine. I go to just leave the rose and sort of like... No, no, please! Don't leave me! Don't break my heart! Who are you? A very good question. I don't know. But it doesn't matter now that I have you! Oh, my love! Well, it, it, uh, it matters a a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I love this guy. Uh, as I'm talking to him, I will... Have you ever looking at the water? Why would I when I can just drown in his eyes? It's beautiful. Oh, I fucking hate this guy. I, I will activate the night web detector as I'm talking to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> just just to make sure, man. It's been a rough day. <laughs> like, no. no, no, no night web. Do you think so? Too. But man. Behind this guy's back, Jack's yeah. just gonna mime, like, tossing him over the bridge. Do you know uh, what would be- sound splendid right now? Tell me. I think just- I think just going for a- going for a swim, because jump off this bridge here, this small little bridge here. Just go swimming. Probably goes bridge! <laughs> oh, well. There's a much safer path to take if you want to go for a swim, my love. Oh, no. Dive, dive off from the top, I mean. Isn't that more like thrilling? I don't, don't know how deep the water is, my love. I, I, it's only one way to find myself. out. Oh, you won't at all. 
Oh no, Elasmo's gonna kill another innocent man. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I, I, tell I don't him. think I should, my love. Anything no, for well, you, then. but anything that puts me in harm's way, I'd rather not. Well, okay, then you go, do you, that. Go, you go down to the bottom and you can catch me in your arms. Mm. That I can do. Of course, anything for you. Walks away from the bridge and kind of like How long does it, walks down. How long does like it take him to get to the bottom? Like a two minute walk. I'll wait till he's right at the bottom. All right, my love. Ready to jump? <laughs> Get ready! Three. How deep is the water? <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 it's... Oh my god. <laughs> it's like five stroke. feet deep, if that. Like, it's not deep at all. Oh, so he would have broken his neck for sure. Oh, yeah, I, oh, that's why I didn't make him jump in. I'll be like, three, two, I, as I say, like, two, I'm just running. It's just the bridge out of the way. Like, oh, it's there! Give me, I need to, do, need to do a run up. I'll be there in two seconds. Three, two, gone. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I was like, oh, but you're still, are you still jumping? Okay, run, fucking oh, run, 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 Where are you? Oh, you've broken my heart, my love. This is the last thing you hear, is you? I get like, uh, worse, I'm like, I'm like, could you do a fuck? Room. Uh, him with like, could you no, do a fuck right the, now, honestly? Like, the, <laughs> the, yeah. like, thing for this yeah, yeah. encounter role is just, an elven noble falls in love with the first character he sees. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think any other day, a Lazar would have really, like, <laughs> appreciated it. But it's like, today is not the day for this bullshit. But he's like, I cannot be fucked with um, this right now. <laughs> like, this is not it. And as you kind of brush, push through the forest some more, you suddenly... This small little bird lands on your shoulder, hands you a note. And as you unroll it, it's just... My love, you seem to have disappeared. I am... I'm growing quite concerned. Please let me know if you're okay. Oh my god. He's right back. You know uh, the best callback? If I could remember... If I could remember the fucking... Arc where Davian was pretending that he was like the envoy of fucking oh my God. Elf Prince. That would have been such an insane callback. Fuck, what well, was the yeah. fucking. It was like Eladriel. Eladriel. It was something. It, I like, don't think it was that exactly, but, but it, yeah. yeah. It, was. It, no, it, was like, it was like Galavandriel. Joe, it was, like, it was longer. Like definitely yeah. longer. Yeah. Elevandriel? It was something like that because it was, it was yeah. double barreled two names that sounded very similar. They, it, it was no, the same the, it was the same it was the name same. twice. Oh, it? But it was yeah. like it was like yeah. Elevandriel, Elevandriel. That uh, might be it. That sounds right. It, anyway. it's, it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> it also sounds super so funny. funny. Uh, do you do it's anything so with the notes funny. Or, or no? Uh, I will. Is there space on the note for me to write back? Yeah. I will, in my best, like. Making it look like it's been scrolled on by like a fucking weirdo just gone, we've got your love. <laughs> and then just tell him to send it back. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> you, I, that is not a good headspace wait, right now. You hand this guy the, might the, pay letter, ransom the, to us. the letter back and this little bird like flies away with it. Not even two minutes later, you get visited by another animal. This time, oh it's this small squirrel that just kind of like jumps from yeah. tree branch to tree branch, lands on your shoulder. Hands you another note. Yeah. What's that say? I recognize that penmanship anywhere, my love. Why would you play pranks on me? It's such it, with, with such dire subject matter. It's, it's, are you breaking I up write, with me? I will write Aspen, in my, hand me the paper. No, I was gonna say I'll write in my finest handwriting. Uh just like although, although our meeting was brief, I enjoy it every minute, but we must part ways. Understand it's it's me, not you. All the best. Let's <laughs> real, let's real. <laughs> Just like okay. Put a little X at the end. <laughs> oh, and then P.S. Do not contact me again. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll just give it. <laughs> um. Yeah. And that's that. That is the last uh, you hear of. Oh, You're uh... so needy. <laughs> He was. <clears throat> Alright, uh, make another uh, survival oh, check God. and a roll d20. Oh, he might have paid a, a ransom for you or something. Maybe, but also... Uh, that is a 17 and a 7. Okay. 
You walk into um, this clearing. And at first sight, this clearing just looks empty. And then you look up. And you see this large yeti with butterfly wings fluttering about. Things from the top of the trees. I think a lesson actually does just genuinely start like crying. And <laughs> like, like he just just goes, he's someone needs to be. And he's like, God, I miss Davian so much right now. He got us to where we needed to be so quickly. <laughs> Smashing pumpkin song I'm not familiar with. Oh yeah. Yeti with butterfly wings. Yeti with butterfly wings. Um <clears throat> and this Yeti looks down and you just hear this. <sighs> But it does have like this big smile on his face as he continues picking things from the trees. I like, I just gotta look at Jackson and Cinder like. <laughs> I think we should just keep moving. He seems quite content. I don't know. It's just like I'll, I'll do a wide berth, like uh, as I'm leading, I'll try and do a wide berth, just kind of looking at this phenomenon that is before us. Yeti with butterfly wings, dude. Yep. Uh, okay. <clears throat> that, that's it. Is. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. literally all, all there is to it. <laughs> Despite all my rage, make a uh, make a, make another survival and throw all d twenty. So the fuck, this is the time we're going to do like two nat ones, like stupid. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Uh, the survival checks are 21, and then the d20 is a 2. Okay. Not well time, that's like a d20 okay. at all. That second like d20 has been rough to me. <laughs> like... So, <laughs> you get to another bridge. No. And as you begin to step up on this bridge, no. climbing from under the bridge comes this large no. troll. Oh, thank oh. God. Approaching you. Wait! Wait! Don't cross bridge! Dangerous! What? Dangerous how? There's big troll. No. Okay. Mm. I think, troll? I th think we can handle ourselves against a troll. It's pretty big. Right. I can, but... help. I can help across. Okay. How? Well, we walk across. Troll come. I beat him up. And you run. Insight if, check. Would you require yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want like to insight check because this man said it is too dangerous. <laughs> uh, make an insight check, both of you. Thirteen. Uh, twenty-one. No. Wait, that seems low. No, it's right. Twenty-one. Uh, as far as you can both tell, this troll so has your best interest at heart. Right, but why can you beat it up, but us three not? And why are you scared? Yeah, if why you are can you beat scared it up? if you can just beat it up? I'm asking a lot of questions. Well, yes. I faced this troll before. I've bested him. If we walk across again. this bridge and we get to the other side and you start punching yourself in the face, why would I punch you? No, you. You start punching yourself in the face. Why would I do that? Because you're a big pro. You can see his eyes like widen. I'm... I'm troll. <laughs> oh. When? Oh. And it goes ballistic and begins oh, slamming fuck. down on the bridge, ramming his head against the, the, the bridge. Okay, Cinder, this doesn't get great. Oh, just run across. Run. And he just looks at you, like, 
nose nose bleeding, forehead cracked. No. Oh. Troll. You're a good troll. Don't let what you are define you. Oh. Oh, I troll. Like you that. go on internet forums and uh, <laughs> you insult <laughs> mothers. <laughs> what is internet forum? <laughs> Halfway through a game of Overwatch 2, you start throwing. It's crazy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's in personal, Quiver. I don't but, know about uh, that one. As, as this troll seems genuinely very concerned by the news that he is a troll. Ah. Uh... You could, you, you just, uh, yeah. Oh, in a mummy troll, in a daddy troll, like. Oh, fuck. No. My troll, my family know troll. I know troll. Um, where's what? your family? This. Mm. Family live. Portugal. I live Portugal. Oh, that's where I used to live too. Really? Uh, yes, what's so your you name? No, no troll live Portugal. What's your, what's your family name? Don Johnson. Right, Jax, the Johnson family of baking trolls. What? Of course. By the by, the docks, the big bakery where the trolls bake the bread. Uh, they're trolls. They are trolls, aren't they, Jax? That no, live by the docks and not bake bread. And they are all trolls. And they live in Port Sigal. No, 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 but he's not a troll. He's so a troll. They are trolls. <laughs> troll family make troll bread. Of course. That settles it. You're a troll. Your family trolls. Everyone loves trolls. Good bread. I can't be a troll. Every time Why? you say troll, I just think you're saying like roll. And I'm like, what's he talking about? <laughs> I the, can't be a troll. The trolls that make rolls. <laughs> I'm man. Did you enter this forest, a man? Yes. You've been turned into a troll. What's by the name? forest. Yeah, it ruins my whole trolls that make rolls thing. I don't. I don't. I I, 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 into I, I, troll. Yes. And now you got a bridge from the other troll. And did a witch do this? I like probably. Uh, it was sweet lady. Yep. Offer me food, night sleep. I woke up and she was gone. And then I found this bridge. I've not moved away from this bridge since. Why do you not move away from the bridge? I can't. You're bound to the bridge. Lazarin. Hello. You wouldn't happen to be able to remove curses, would you? <laughs> yes. It, uh, not yeah. today. Not today, though. <laughs> I'll be honest, Jax, I wasn't in the um, <laughs> remove curse mindset this morning. Talk about yeah, it's not a plans. spell I get, so... Yeah. I, I could... Maybe curse me. Now I know I was too troll. No, I know we were saving it for like one of us because we could have saved the stone guy with this. But like I do have that scroll. We have a spell scroll remove curse. No, the spell scroll great restoration. Great restoration. Oh. Just like better remove curse. Oh my. I just look at the other two like, oh, I feel like I should repay the debt that I've got on myself. Fine. <laughs> it's like, pull up the skull, spell coins. What's going on? 
and cast Greater Restoration. I put, like, a hand on him and cast a Greater Restoration on him. As you uh, do that, you see this troll beginning to shrink in size and shed his skin. As before you stand, this maybe 20 year old human man. Oh! Well, that's a lot better. I, I would I advise thought, I thought... not eating things from sweet ladies. Oh, good one. Uh, Learn that the hard way. Huh? Oh, it's just. I don't even remember going to these woods. I don't even remember why I would ever step foot here. Well, it wouldn't happen to have any directions on that again. Oh, thanks, by the way, for the bringing back me and getting rid of it's all a more hairy version. Oh, I've got a cracking head. Uh, so right, fun thing about very much yeah. that this forehead is still yeah. like there's this deep cut. <laughs> I will also then just do like a first level cure wounds on him. Just be like, patch yourself up. I Ew. that doesn't have a number. Hang on. <laughs> oh, it's an eight. Oh, well. Is that one of those dice that is like? Throw well, my fucked up dice. Ones? That yeah. doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have a fucking number on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's only the one number it doesn't have. So no, it's an eight. Mm. Uh. It's all the other numbers on it. Uh, he heals at thirteen. Oh, that feels better. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a map or something that could get me out of here? Oh, not um, these first. Just think of the exit. Think of, like, home. Really keep it in your mind. Keep keep home or exit, whatever one. Leaving in your mind. Think about it hard. Right. Pick a direction and go. Does he have a weapon? You can see that on his belt there's these two daggers. Okay, just want to make sure he can... Yeah, hey. so. Try to make better decisions. Um, does he look, does he here, look strong? And... Is this an NPC or is this just an NPC? You know what I mean? Like, is he a human civilian or is he like a guy guy? <laughs> no difference. RP wise. Might even find out, bro. Um, but does he? A man, a young man wielding two daggers. I have to piss really bad. It's making it hard I'm to concentrate. I'm going to pull. Can't you Strider? Um, <laughs> I'm going to take oh, the. Well, five fucking... rations. I'll hand him the giant craft ambush. <laughs> My God, can, fucking hell! Can you hold this? Oh, okay, never mind. Never, no, never, never mind. It's okay. Don't worry. So think of the exit, and I'll just, I'll just leave. What you said? Uh, yes, it might take you a second, but you should find your way. Keep sharp. Got another question? Okay. What year is it? That's a question. What year do you think it is? I was just messing with you. <laughs> I think. No, but on but seriously, 12 years a troll. Is... 12 years a troll! <laughs> <laughs> is that an No, I, it's only been a few days as a troll. I'm not sure. My memory is still quite... It's only been a few days. I think. I thought they all say... Well, time like might be a little years. weird. What, what, what month do you think it is? Oh... Or something? Nah, yeah, close enough. That was so long. Am no, I dumb? It, yeah, no, you're right. But it, it, if he came in, it's only just gone Septimon, right? So if he joined, so if he entered this forest a few days ago, doesn't matter. It's only a month out. I don't know. It's better than the last guy. The last saw. thing I remember was news reaching us about the city on the new continent being invaded by dragons. How long ago was that? Oh, like a week. Oh. Yeah, like I said, it's only, only been like a few days then. Is it not? I'll see then. Did I have my calendar wrong? One second, we sipped him on. Like, only a couple days in? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Alright, you're well, good. Thank you very much. Um, Yo, is this, by the way, the actually a troll across this bridge? Cool, excellent. You're welcome. Okay, I, Make I good know. life choices. I don't really know what the whole deal okay, was with this lady that's turning fine. into a troll bound to a bridge. Uh, 
It was weird. It's weird. Wait. Make your life choices. Don't get stuck in this fucking forest again. Uh, I swear to God, if I see you again in this forest, I'm going. You won't be so lucky. <laughs> Yeah, right. Thank you. And the fuck out of here. In the random direction through the brush and uh, disappears from sight. Can we meet a normal person? I'm really glad he wasn't mad about the whole Johnson trolls that make rolls thing. I think he probably had bigger things on his mind than like trolls. Like, like being a troll. Does that to a man? <laughs> he really fucked this. Luckily, he was a troll when he did it, because if he was, like, a human who thought he was a troll or some shit, like, the other way around, and then, like, did that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Maybe it might knock some sense to, into him, get lucky. Well, then. Press on. As you press <laughs> on, you reach Dasa's home. I see it, and I'm like, oh, thank God! <laughs> and you see Shasa still sat in the very same position that she was sat in when you all left. Uh, what? I look down like, have you moved? Hmm? I said, uh, have you moved? I don't think so, no. What? You seem what? to uh, be missing a couple of people. Yeah, I one things did not go very well. Yeah, one's dead and one's in Brixos Lair. We got shit to do. <laughs> well, Here's your fucking key parts, and I'll like oh underarm yes. throw no them at her. There's no need for the attitude towards me. I'm trying to help you. I know it's something. Sorry. Something. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, or whatever the saying is. Fucking. I apologize. It has been. I'm still processing what's happened this past. Not Bear even in mind, a day. you're also. You like complaining about losing one person, where she's standing in the ruins of a village that she once had, and everyone in their village in their village. Yeah, dies. so what? Those people don't matter, okay? <laughs> so she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. get a grip. <laughs> yeah, we're the main characters. Come on. Yeah, but also. Well, Cinder isn't, but yeah. <laughs> but also, fuck you as your dad. <laughs> you yeah, you go, 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 gr granddad, actually. Uh, also, <laughs> she could come with us. She could. She could have just come with us. Hi, type. She'll come. <laughs> well, you did I'm collect sorry. all the pieces. That is very good. Um, sorry for your yeah, loss. Okay. It's just a little bit raw. Sorry. Didn't mean to uh, you know, oh, I completely project understand. that onto you. It's fine. And I saw, like, I didn't know I do, like, unless it has that, like, realization, like, oh, yeah, shit, we are standing in, like, this destroyed village. Like, it's... And she takes the three E parts from you and... You see that she begins to transform into her green dragon form. And she lays the key parts out. And with her noxious breath, breathes this cloud of poison fumes. And you can see once the cloud kind of disperses, the key completely intact. She shifts back to her visage. Ah. There you go. Your key. Wouldn't want to happen to come with us to help kill him, would you? Well, that was part of the deal, no? You go get the key and I guide you to the lair. Me aiding, I just wasn't you, sure if that meant me you were aiding you in a fight there, against me. the family member that has done me wrong so many times uh, comes free of charge. That being said, three of us, four if you include me, do we think this is uh, adequate? Well, we do have two friends that could appear back at any time. Okay. It's just, I mean, uh... Exoth is a uh, very dangerous adversary. Um, you don't say. Well. 
and we are going to enter his hunting grounds, huh? Well, these woods are his hunting grounds, but his, his lair is, that is, the last place you want to be when you are chasing the, uh, the apex predator of the forest you're in, huh? So, I ask again, do you think you are up for the task? Where's up for this will ever be? We have drive. We don't have the focus right now, but. And then what can we do to get your focus back, huh? Get my friend back. Your Both. friend in his lair. Yeah, and the one that also fucking died. You know, that'd be great. Oh. We won't have the guilt on that anymore. Really? But, um. Not much I can do on that front, I apologize. That's what anyone can do. But. We. Enough brief encounter we had with Bricks off. Hmm? The one he took seemed to hurt him quite badly. At least it seemed to. Is that so? <laughs> there is ego there. As you probably already mm, know. Yes, that does sound about right. Uh, it hurt his pride more than it hurt him. And he decided but, to... Uh, as they say, a wounded, a wounded animal is most dangerous when it is cornered. Hmm. But he, right now, with what he has done, he's going to feel like he's got the high ground and a very big ego. I think we can exploit this. I think there is. Okay, it's there's possibility. He might catch him off guard in that sense. Plus, he I mean, might want the fight and not maybe even leave us alone a little bit because he thinks we're not going to try. Do you or think uh, he is alone in his lair, or do you think he uh, has his friends with him? Huh? Uh, he well, uh, has, he has uh, one. occasional meetups with uh, some of his uh, brethren. I he suppose. did have some, um, the white dragon, Palkata was there, oh, and, uh, nasty one that someone, is. someone, and someone in a gold dragon mask. Oh. Yeah. Do you know who, that, who could that could be? No idea. Uh, he's mentioned her before. This is, you know, years and years and years ago when we were selling what way, though? Um, this was uh, maybe a couple hundred uh, years ago when... Uh... Any information is good information. Well, ask away. What do you want to know? Huh? There's a lot of things I do Do you know, know who this person is? No. Do you know what, what is their relationship with Brixoth? It's fire, as I'm aware. Is, uh, you know. This person is in charge of this uh, group of people wanting to eradicate the elements huh, and take over the world. The dragons. Is she a dragon as well? Or more than likely. At the mention of eradicating the elements, Cinder noticeably sort mm -hmm. of flares up a little bit. Good one, flares up, good one. <laughs> yes, uh, this uh what is their name now? The Nightwebs is what they call themselves now. I'm pretty sure she is as high as it gets, huh? Mm. <laughs> cut off the oh, head of the uh, well, I would say dragon, but doesn't make sense. Cut off the head of the snake, uh, kind of uh, kind of thing. Uh, that is as far as as high as you get. That's what I feared. So he is very hard to reach, and uh, don't assume he's going to be there when we get there because the fact that she was even here for a few minutes uh, puts her at risk. Huh? She doesn't do that often. Only under the highest of except exceptions, which I guess the capture of one of your friends might be important enough for her to uh, just more risk the... herself. Pale Cutter's presence gives me more concern, but yes, um, Pale Cutter was there. Was Nazar there? I don't believe so. Ooh. She could make it or something. I think. 
Um, but I don't know if Pelkator is going to be there when we get there. It might also just be that they had a meeting and they decided that Brixoth's lair was the place to meet since that was where the prisoner was, huh? Um, so assume it'll just be him. Well, him and his lackeys down there. Uh, worst case scenario, Pelkater decided to take a little vacation here and you know, we have to fight two at once. Uh, but that is highly unlikely, though. He likes his elemental plane of air too much. It's mounted pop. Any other questions? No. What did I have? And do you have any allies? Uh, looks around. Not anymore. Should we rest here for the day, or...? If you want. Uh, before we do, I would like to uh, properly introduce Chasa is my visage name. The real name would be, you know, my draconic name would be Naxoth. Very nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, N-A-X-O-T-H? Yes. You don't happen to know the visage names of the other dragons, do you? Oh, <laughs> see, I was kind of hoping you'd ask. <laughs> um, well, Brixoth has gone through uh, many uh, visages. Huh? I think the latest iteration of his visage is uh, some kind of tiefling. Been holding on to that for uh, two decades now, I think. What was it? What was it? Uh, ah! Yes, he's, uh, he's called Valor. Excuse me. Sorry. Yes, he's uh, Valor, orange-skinned tiefling named Valor. No, 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 no. That can't be true. Why not? No, 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 no. no. I will. And like, I'm there, Gerard's just, he's gone. Like, he's just, like, silent. Like, I start just walk, like, I walk away for a second, just like pacing. Like, no, no, no. Have they met before? I. You like, Sir Jax? Like, have they met before or something? There was his mentor, the person who supposedly helped him escape the Nightwebs and almost introduced him to them. It's a very complicated relationship. Oh, well, he is known to play with his food, huh? That is a whole nother level of. Uh, fucked up. No, 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 no. Um, who, who, what other names do the others go by? I do not know. <clears throat> Kid. I... The Valor bombshell got dropped, but... Yeah. Duke oh, already knew. Like... Davian Is that what he knew? knew? Davian knew. Yeah, Davian's fucking Davian looked him out of eye. I... <clears throat> yeah, in this moment... Even like, why is it? Make it why just humor me, right? Why is your group so important to these to this 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 council of dragons? Huh? They did mention, well, Rixoth. Mentioned uh, a prophecy, huh? Would that happen to be you? Because that's the only reason I can think for mm -hmm. it to make sense for him to have his eyes on you. So many years. He's been playing with you for as long as you've known him. Which I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Not very good. We've seen Valor cast divine magic, right? Valor's a Twilight Domain cleric. So then how the fuck did you drag it? He's for fun. He's for I will God. Yeah, I mean like in this in this moment Elasma is so disbelieving. Uh will 
Like, I'll make an insight check. I'll make an insight check. Like, knowing what the... I mean, that's a... Uh, 23. You don't want to believe it? Mm. But you yeah. try and get a read on her, and, and, and she looks at you yeah. with all sincereness in eyes and and it's starting to creep in like why would she uh, about that why what yeah what benefit is lying about this i will cast have for her i don't know if it'll work here but i will cast sending to the empress okay and i will say valor is compromised all information gone to him the nightwebs know It takes a little while, but you do get a reply. Jeez, that is deeply concerning. As soon as you are done there, we meet. I will then cast sending again hmm? to Valor hmm. and just say, I just ask, well, where are you right now? You get a message back. Close enough to have your scent. Just a lot of breaks down in like so many tears and like just slumps to the floor. Um, yeah, is inconsolable is just crying <laughs> and is just oh we're going no 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 like... at this point we'll kind of back up and look at jackson cinder um i'm going to give him uh some time just, uh don't get me whenever you're ready to go if you need anything else. it sounds good we might camp here for a bit uh, don't know that, that is we... fine. Uh, if we are going to take the fight to Brixoth, uh, we need our heads on straight, huh? All of us. Yeah. Cinder. C Cinder, like, puts his hand on Jax's shoulder. Takes his hand and just puts the vessel ring onto Jax's index finger and then just into the ring and just... <laughs> He's outie. <laughs> He's outie. <laughs> Fair enough. So tempting to chuck that ring so <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Seuss Aaron boy, bro. So, um, yeah. Jax, hey, man. You see, uh... Not his circus, not his monkeys. He had to kill a dragon. <laughs> not console sad clerics. You see Elazrin inconsolable. Um, what do you do? I can break down with him. That's a very, uh, very valid and fair response. Oh, it's so much in like when you're when you're in the vessel, you can, you can hear everything around as if yeah. you're in face. So I, he's just in the vessel, just hearing this muffled crying coming from the outside. If... In Does ten that... hours, davian has been kidnapped. Daigon is permanently dead. Brooks and Kess are missing. God knows where. God knows what could be dead too. For all we know, we've had no messages from them. We got missed them. Right? The... Valor's a fucking plant from day one in, that in, none industry of plant. us saw coming. Industry plant. And the I, worst part is, I the Empress it. might be the head of all of it. Uh, I saw it coming, but like, way out of the Like, you know, like, right? This is fucked. <laughs> this. What do you mean? Do you, you know how we've always joked? It's too far, like, man. You know how we've always joked that Dutch likes getting a baseball bat and like sticking nails into it? This Ooh. is like Dutch was sticking nails and then went, why don't I just strap a machine gun to this instead? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. God! But is it a cool, uh, dream, is it a cool plot twist? I never said it wasn't cool and I love it and it's amazing, okay? <laughs> I never said this word. I just said, emotionally, what? <laughs> it is kind of you know the whole premise of uh i mean it makes sense green dragons being the biggest manipulators of them all like god it, it makes so much fits, sense you know? i feel like it fits oh it does 
<laughs> and like every like mention you've made, like is suddenly like, oh god. Uh, if Jax gets close to a ladder, it, there is a. I mean, yeah, we're we're doing this. We're doing it like this. Uh, if Jax gets close, doing. no. If Jax gets close to a ladder, I will oh. cast mislead and just run away for the whip. Not out the forest. Not out this area. Just mm -hmm. I'll sort of like, and I'll also okay. and I'll. Steps tonight and like kind of fly up into it into a treetop. Okay. Leaves old man alone. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm, I'm rolling like, a heart attack. Yeah, oh, fuck off. It, and I'll be like keeping an eye on him the whole time, and it'll be like it's only an hour. That's how long this league lasts. Um, but for a good time, like a legend is just wants to be alone. Mm -hmm. It just is alone. You could probably tell like almost instantly that it's happened. <laughs> like you've seen. Imagine do shit like this, like at least use misleads. Um, and yeah, I feel like it, that duration of that would just be. Yeah, I mean, is there anything like what's then, like both of you like? What are you guys doing to kind I of yeah, Jacks come to terms with just everything that's happened so far? Start organizing Eigen's belongings and probably start reading. Through. Oh. Kind of... right. I think Reminous. after the hour of a Lazarus just like <laughs> crying and disbelief finally like gets himself together and will steps the night down to Jax and I'll just like go Shex <laughs> he will pay <laughs> well it's either that will die and Either way, I don't really care. One way or another, we finish this. Tomorrow. Sounds like music to my ears, huh? So. We talk about what to expect once we enter the lair, or are you not emotionally ready just yet? Oh, let's do it. That when Cinder also like bams back out as he hears like sobbing time all of her plans are being discussed. Cinder. Duke. Cinder. Duke? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? I we're said, starting to discuss plans. We're starting to discuss plans. Is Bro's that when gone. Cinder was like, <laughs> and he appears and he's like, okay. Yes. So. <laughs> Sorry, it's Reddit, an interesting Reddit post. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. The, the, <laughs> the lair consists of several chambers that lead deeper and deeper down. Underground, huh? We'll have to uh, work our way through several of them. Uh, I'm sure that since I got kicked out, he's upped the amount of traps and, and, and whatnot in there. So there is going to be times where I'm also not sure what to expect. But as far as traps go, uh, you know, the basic uh, pitfalls, poisonous gas traps, um, alarm bells, uh, you know, the sorts. Uh, there uh, will definitely be a, a group of his uh, more stronger minions defending uh, the way down. There is one chamber in particular in which we uh, will need to be very careful. Huh? Uh, how greedy are you? Huh? Average? Well, how difficult or... is it for you guys to keep your mitts to yourselves and not touch anything oh. that doesn't belong to you, huh? It's pretty easy. Uh, if it's dangerous, not very. Well, when it is uh, riches enough for you and your future 20 generations to live lavishly, huh? Well, we can take that once he's dead, so... No, 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 no. If we touch anything valuable in that chamber but also uh, you know random uh, gold pieces on the ground uh, yeah. you d d do not the only things you are allowed to take are the things we find in his actual chamber anything before that first many a times it will surely lead to your downfall before you even get to him. 
So whenever you see something so, shiny, keep your mitts to yourself. I think there are more important things on our minds. Yeah. I'm just mind. making sure. Huh? Uh, no one goes, oh, oh, a piece of gold. And then... Yeah. If we had other two friends, I'd be a little more worried, but... Then being a student, then then there is this this room that I was talking about. Huh? There is this room with a very particular uh, floor where we um. Well, you can fly. Looks at um Elazrin. You wouldn't all happen to be able to fly uh, in one way or another, huh? Yes, I think. At least I can. I could if I need to. So basically, this room is just, this is lo it's one large trap. Huh? There is uh, there is uh, pressure plates on the floor. There is um, well, basically these uh, enchanted magical wires uh, in the air. Uh, we'll have to fly over the floor, but also not too high. We have to kind of dash through, uh, make sure not to touch anything. Uh, we touch any of these wires or any of the pressure plates, we all we're all fucked. So. Uh, best not to have any alcohol or anything before we go. Would walking on walls be? Oh no 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 no! Oh. Okay. Best thing we can do is uh, I'll take the lead, and you just follow the exact path I take. Huh? That is, if he hasn't changed anything about it since I had to go, uh, which uh, was a little while ago. So um, doing it by memory mm. might not be the best, but. Uh, it's uh, the biggest chance we've got, huh? Mm -hmm. I suppose. All right. Well, like I said, several chambers. No touching anything golden or shiny. Uh, watch out for traps. Watch out for soldiers. I think that about covers it. Um, once we get to the lair itself, uh, it is very important we don't spend too much time in there. Uh, we have to make the fight quick. Uh, because uh, if we don't, eventually... Well, I'll be fine, but you guys eventually... He will succumb to the poison and all die. Well, I think we have a way around that. Oh, you do? Poisonous gases well, right. filling up your lungs. Uh, not be an issue. Okay. I, I, I believe the last one. I think Jack's yeah, like, kind of nodded at the last one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was reading the fucking DD stuff. Funny about the post. <laughs> Yeah, fucking it funny Reddit post, isn't it? Mate? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I was reading it at Titan Uh, what the fuck was the question? Well, um, I I was mentioning that uh, the room where we'll find Brixot himself uh, will be filled with poisonous gas that uh, we can only spend so much. Or, well, you can only spend so much time in before you uh, choke to death. But then your friend mentioned that you might have something against that. So. Uh, yes, I can stop her. Uh... A poison? Like, uh... Stop it, or stop it, you know? I believe we're immune to it. Uh... Action awesome. <laughs> I can either make... Uh... Hmm. There's, there's two different ways I could go about this. <laughs> I could give us an advantage yeah, against... Yeah, it's, uh... You're getting you know, poison, huh? There's a nice enchanted bowl. Oh, yes, of course. Yes! Yeah. Uh, uh, friends, champagne. Does, that, does that make us immune to disease and poison? Oh, it does! <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> you stupid ass. Does it make us immune to disease and poison? I'm just still getting over the fucking Valor shit, okay? <laughs> like, I'll be that honest. That is a California um, Eater's Feast by Paul Musk. I'm, I'm, um, <laughs> dude, I'm going to send through a fucking loop, alright? Like, <laughs> I am not okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, yes, yes, I can. If when we rest in the morning, I can make us a very hearty breakfast. That will protect us. Hey. Good. Feast fit for heroes. Uh, so it's good, huh? So very well. That seems like we have a plan. Guide you to the lair. Join you in. Kill his lackeys. Kill him. Be your friend. Everybody happy, huh? How would you feel about destroying his lair? Huh? How would you feel about destroying his lair? What do you mean? Destroying burning it. Now? When we're cleared with that, we burn it to the ground. But well, it is underground. Huh? How do you turn a? How do you burn a cave underground? 
to go home. You collapse the cave? <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Good. Good. I could Let's show see. you ways of burning things that you would never imagine. I'm sure you could. Um. Well, I'll ask you again. Do you think this uh, little quartet here will be capable of uh, killing the dragon? Mm -hmm. I can. Elazrin gather himself. Let Jax center himself. We eat the feast and we give it our best. Very nice. Well, whenever you are ready, let me know. I'll transform into my more draconic form. You guys can hop on my back and uh, we'll make the route there quick. Huh? That's a great plan. Yes. And I will find a it's an open space okay. um, and start laying out incense and start doing ritual as I will cast Planar Ally. Okay. Um, uh, I will be uh, beseeching that of uh, oh, how do I do this? I th I think with everything that's going on, mm -hmm. I think Lazarus at this moment is clinging to faith yeah. rather than that of Grumpa, and is going for a celestial. And I'm trying to talk to Waki, well, trying to ask beseech Joaquin for, beseech Joaquin Joaquin. for a for a a planar ally, and I will say. You know what is at stake. You know what <laughs> this church has done to me. I'm owed a fucking favor at this point. I think I've got enough credit in the bank for this. Ooh. As I summon a plane of life. Oh, oh, you're getting cheeky. Well, the person who did train me up in, like, her ways mm -hmm. did turn out to be the guy I'm going to go kill. So, yeah. Elijah, you're looking for a loan? Make a persuasion check. And that's been looking for a fucking freebie. <laughs> so I don't have to pay 10,000 gold a day, for example. <laughs> a persuasion check. Ooh, okay. Oh. 26. So before you appears, this. How long does it last, by? So. I think until it's, it's done. Until, until it's, it's done. done. Right, same And the task yeah. is kill the dragon. <laughs> yeah. This Killing bricks off is the task. Golden. Celestial appears. You can see the Celestial wearing a top hat, golden jewelry, his fine suit, a bunch of pouches yes. hanging from his belt. Yes. Kind of like stands before you and like this. See, our fair lady has considered your request in your favor. This once, but. Henceforth, any credit built has been nullified. Sure. Done. All right, who am I killing? Bricks off the green dragon. <laughs> oh, that got your attention, didn't it? <laughs> oh. Hold on just a minute. I'm just like <laughs> flash. Yeah. Of, of, yeah. of of radiant light and as it like, like disappears. I, get, is, I came to the like, wrong function. <laughs> this 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 it's the same individual but is now adorned yeah. in this shiny golden armor, wielding these the, these these nunchucks like spirits weapons like Hell in, in yeah. both hands. That's more like it. Yeah. When are we leaving? We're well, gonna do a quick rest first. Finish hours. And we got to have a uh, a heroic feast and then uh you could have just summoned me then, you know. This is I'm on the clock. Oh no. I couldn't summon you then, you see, because I need the goddess's power, I need the golden lady's power to do two different things. I need to use up quite a lot of my uh connection. 
to do one before. Because you're after. incapable, I'm not stuck here for the next nine hours sitting on my ass when I could be making money. Always yes. the same. It's always the same shit. Have you tried day trading? Have you tried day trading? Of course I have. <laughs> this is the guy... Jax, this is the guy who made the Electrum Crypto Cross. <laughs> This is the guy, this is the yeah, dude. Electrum is you made blockchain. Uh, that's a currency we made many eons ago. It didn't really happen. It didn't really pick up well. This is... Oh my god, Electrum. Oh my god. No, Ele Electrum's the fucking Dogecoin of like all the shit. Like, it's it didn't like really stick even, the way we wanted it to stick. Like... Uh, so we got rid of it, huh? I mean, just after the blockchain thing, I just picture like there's like somewhere in the astral plane this huge blockchain. like train that is just huge enormous stone blocks connected by a chain and every so often like a little bit of like magical like text That's just like so on, onto one of the blocks <laughs> like just it's just this huge like astral chain. It's, yeah. like, it's like its own like realm as well like it's yeah. like oh mm. all exist is this <laughs> no anyway all right so you right. guys um uh, go for a long rest if you want you guys wake Fucking up the next morning. Yes, sir. Uh, I think we'll uh, we'll pick this up in two weeks. Yes, guys are waking sir. up from your long rest. Cool, cool. cool. Oh. we'll have our other friend. You get in that in that two weeks. Do you get to decide what fucking creature it is that I actually got? Yeah, yeah I'll work. <laughs> Dava? Question. <laughs> What are the fucking archons or whatever it's called? Hell yeah, what a fucking session. That would have real fucked me up bad if Grixoff took me and, you know. If you were face to face with Valor. We would be able to kill him. Yeah, yeah that swear. was the thing. Like, Valor. Uh, would have fucked uh, me up real good. Valor revealed himself to yep. Davian and basically yep. said it was supposed to be him. Yeah, it would have fucked me up real fucking good, brother. Yeah, that was the point that I was like, I knew something you didn't know. Yeah, uh, see, now this yeah. all makes sense. This yeah. Makes sense. It could be an are... Empyrean. It could be a Planetar. Uh -huh. It could be a Kirin, a Holophant. Planetar would be so sick. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I don't know, two weeks to think about that. But I hope you guys joined. A lot of, lot of yap in this session. A lot of, lot of lore, a lot of revelations. Cheeky bit of combat and uh, yeah, yeah. two weeks when we pick this up. Be on our way to Brixoth's lair. Oh, yeah. Dude, give us that a quick. Gonna kill it with fire. Uh, and hopefully, in two weeks, I gave homework because, uh, like, there's little bits Davian plays with Cinder as well. Everyone left up, so, like, they have to make themselves things need to made on the character portraits uh, HP change all that shit and then hopefully Bell finally sends me the fucking photoshop I can mass upload all this shit to YouTube I'll harass her this week for you yeah. please do okay. I've brought it up several times and like I know it's not her fault but <laughs> oh, sorry. it's her but fault fuck you just say, yeah. just say, it. Just say it. having an ex that is extremely ADHD and I have to remind her like 20 million times do shit for me, like the most minor shit. It, I it gets to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, that's fair. Um, yeah. yeah. If if y'all could remind her a couple times throughout the week, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Small small club today, but I think I feel like this was a good sesh to have, given how the last one yeah. ended. Having only the people that were physically there, uh, kind of pick up it's the good. pieces is a that was a good story. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I was sitting there, I'm like, Aaron, dude, man. like, now that they, like, I've given you this lore, this little lore insert on the item of, like, oh, every dragon has a visage. I was like, dude, if they ask about who Brixoth's visage is to Shasa, she will snitch. Like, she doesn't give a fuck. Like, you know. Ow. Snitches <laughs> get stitches. Like, I the thing is, like, I, I kind of, like, wanted to plant the, this, this yeah. your heads through the item description of, like, oh, every dragon has a visage. Uh, and then, like, the whole question about, like, what do you like, okay, maybe that's enough of planting the seeds for them to maybe they'll ask Shasa, and then she will gladly sell them. Glad you guys did. Gave a great reaction. <laughs> how long yeah, if she could have snitched on hey, more Dutch. of them. Huh? Hey, Dutch. How long, how long into campaign planning is that been a thing? Like, since I've given you my backstory, or like a little bit after? Um, I, the majority of the campaign. Like, he 
Um, I, I knew he was a dragon. I just didn't know what type of dragon he was yet. Um, oh, cool. But, so he's but, always always going to be the king. Oh, but I knew he was a dragon. <laughs> pretty much the moment you guys freed him from prison. Like, that was all set up. Like, Jesus. everything was set up. Like, yeah, but we never uh, would have been able to see through that ever. No. If that's the point. That, that was Did the point. <laughs> I know. Like... And you know, in this whole time, I've been like, ah, oh, it's too good to just like, nah, not Valor. Like, I, I thought Valor was always going to betray us in some way, just a little bit. Not, not expecting this. This one and was like, not. You know, when I did my reading of like, okay, I'm going to have to actually, because the whole like five dragon council idea yeah, that worked for Tiamat thing was an idea from very early on. Yeah. Um, And then I was like, oh, I need to think of visages, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, Valor is going to be one of them. And then I was like, well, Valor has been manipulating the fuck out of Lazard for our life and green ones are the biggest manipulators so that's that one's worth <laughs> you know I mean? no um, i don't know what you mean asshole oh no i get it don't okay. be happy about it <laughs> no i love it shit like this is why i play D. &D. Mm -hmm. yeah shit like that dream is why i don't play D. &D. yeah that dream th that was fucked that that's fucked Bye. like <laughs> Yeah, That's too far. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's crazy about that? Like, yeah. that entire dream segment just kind of came to me while we were doing it. I was like, oh, yeah, I was fucking, you know, I'll, I'll fuck, I'll, I'll improv some I'll fuck dreamscape up. shit. The worst bit well is, like, you've literally just given me the dream of, like, me seeing Valor and turning into a dragon. Oh, foreshadowing, like, baby. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. And I'm like, ha, 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 funny, because he used to part night webs, and he's the reason I could have even joined. He, he, who, who, yeah, wait, who else turned into dragons in your dream? Hold on. You know, it's oh, fucking fucking, but it's, no, Valor just, oh. was the first one, and then everyone else yeah, also took it. Yeah, so I'm like, ha ha ha, he he he. And then there's real, and I'm like, oh, every like, dude, interaction we've had with we Valor has been so fucking that. sketch, dude. It's been so, like, off. And then, like, yeah. doo -doo 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 -doo. And he's, not the, only, like, like, he's not the only visage you have interacted with. Yeah, exactly. That's the last. <laughs> Bro. There's so many. This is the one time that primeval awareness for rangers would have been sick to have for dragons. Because you can the sense dragons time. around you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but like, you would never just, like, Davin nope. would have had to, like, <clears throat> on the daily, like, oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Always specify, you I, know what I mean? Well, like, my thought would have just been, have been, like, because we're all, like, with dragons now, it's like, you know, like, popping yourself. Yeah, more on the recent, yeah. I, I, it's just like, fuck, man. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed fuck. Chat, thanks for watching. I loved it. Cosmic Candles, the real Cosmic Candles. Thanks for the follow earlier. Appreciate you. The uh, real Cosmic Candles? The real Cosmic Candles. Crazy. Crazy. We out As here. Opposed to the fake Cosmic The one sesh Laura isn't here. <laughs> yeah, they're right. <laughs> I mean, why do you think we oh, got the follow? Good Come point. on now. Ah. Good point. That's a good point. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll All be back sex appeal, no breaks this uh, week. Not next week. We'll be back in two weeks because I'm a, I'm at a festival. Um, First of all, as soon as Bell sends me all the fucking Photoshop shit, I will be churning out like all the like. A, the, my plan uh, is the idea is that as soon as I have the Photoshop shit, I, I make the thumbnails for every session that isn't on YouTube yet, and then I just fucking begin just churning up the, yep. up the uploads. Reckon. Do you need like stills of us being like? No, no, because Bell and has a format. All she needs to do is just send me the fucking yeah. SD files and then I can copy paste everything. That one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, gamers. See y'all in a couple weeks. And uh, our anniversary coming up soon. Yes. That's the one. That's the one. Bro. Anniversary coming the up real soon as well. Um, Home Alone. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the anniversary uh, session. Okay. Fun little food for thought. The anniversary session will be the weekend, the first sesh Four after back, the, right? the 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 Indie Beyond change happens. It'll be the twenty ninth, oh. right? Because the twenty eighth is our anniversary. If I'm yes, sir. Yeah. So, I guess we'll do a one. I want to do a one shot. Details to follow, but I guess we'll just try and see what it's like in one D and D, and that will kind of help us decide do we care I enough will, to. That have is, to, you know what I mean. That is a chance. I might not be here for that week. That's fucking. No, you're bitch. the one that always shows up. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's true. I never believe that when you say it because someone else will be um, the month cancel. Yeah, no, because <laughs> it's like parents' birthday coming up, so. Cringe. Just let us know. Shit to do. Have, have yeah, celebrate early. Get your dad's nips out. <laughs> fucking. Dude, I think just I'm going camping with that. Down. I'm going like wilderness camping. So Swingers like... weekend. <laughs> Koi was invited this time. He's going to the <laughs> dogging site. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we out. Peace. Bye-bye.